Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are. And I welcome you to this afternoon exposition. Of course, you know, in a while we haven't done a serious exposition <coughs> on those that were set up by Nigeria government to make sure they sabotage and destroy the activities and the effort Mazen Namdekano had put in place. So today, we have that time to do this very analysis, and it is very, very important that we do this. Because, of course, so many of you who are carried away today, you might not know exact, you know, damage that these people are causing this struggle you might not be aware of this damage that they are causing this struggle and that is the reason why we must continue and never relent in the exposition of all these infiltrators because if you look at this, let me show you what our studio, what the studio looks like before we go into it. We will it. continue to give our enemies sleepless night. Peace. So, to those. The most important thing peace. is that I will give. I want you, I want you to know that what we are doing here. You know, it is to expose the enemy. It is to expose the activities of the enemy. And it is very, very important that we do it. Because now, how can you tell me that you trust somebody and you have been following Mazen Namdekano, sorry, following Mazen Namdekano all this while? And uh, since you've been following Mazen Namdekano, you did not pick up any lesson from him. You did not learn anything from him. You did not understand that there are many people that he has, you know, he actually, you know, suspended in this movement. People that are supposed to be the people that are supposed that will be in the forefront of this struggle today he suspended them he because of their illegal activities i hope you are paying attention because of their illegal activities how can you tell me you that is looking at me right now reading my lips talking to you that you are still you know, in line with the activities of Mazen Namdekano, or you are still following the, you know, the struggle that Mazen Namdekano put in place. And you look at me right now, you tell yourself that following this infiltrator, following this deceitful human being, Nutshara, you know, in Finland, manipulator in Finland, that you are still doing what Mazen Namdekano will commend when he eventually comes out? Or are you doing it because you never liked Mazen Namdekano? Are you doing it because Mazen Namdekano granted interview to the same Eberima? What exactly is your reason for not being able to read the handwriting or read in between the lines that things will be going this way and you cannot understand what is happening? Regardless of whoever that come to tell you the real story, the real truth about, you know, your enemy you will still be following them blindly. 
And that reminds me, that will tell me, you know, the only answer I can get from myself, asking myself these questions, uh, is because all these people that are supporting the infiltrators today, they have been the enemy of Mazen Namdekan. The same infiltrator today went ahead all the dismissed members that Mazen Namdekan sacked by himself. He recruited all of them. What does that tell you? What does that tell you? It is like, you know, you that is, in, you know, trust the Eberima in Finland. You trust him, right? Now, let's assume that you trust him. And you trust him so much to the extent that, you know, someday there are people like uh, he, like people like uh, that, have, that have, you know, realized or have seen the light that was working with him. And today they decided to say, no, we are not going to work with him anymore. Rather, we are going to create our own ways of, you know, fighting for the Biafra nation. And some of you who has been following him blindly, you know, who has been following him and they never believed in anything that in Aroyakale Ponshe, you never believe that, you know, he has done anything to sabotage you and you turn around and you go and be recruiting, you know, you turn around and be recruiting everybody that he, he's, he refused to work with. That he told you that they are no longer to be trusted. And yet, will you trust that person if you still love him Belima in Finland? Will you trust the person who is recruiting the people he refused to work with? And saying to you, and you are telling yourself that you are, you are still following a Berima in Finland, while you are actually in support of the people he refused to work with, because of uh, you know we are playing a devil advocate here, because of maybe what he saw to be criminality or what he saw to be against what he is doing, and you decided to go and work with. The same people he refused to work with. And yet you say that you are in support of a Berima. Does that, uh, you know, does that make sense? It does not make sense. We are in a struggle. So since we are in a struggle, the people that Mazen Namdekano sacked, you know, people that he suspended, a Berima went behind recruited all of them and today he is telling you that all these people that Mazen Namdekano have sacked that some of them they did something wrong some of them they did not do something wrong which means that Mazen Namdekano did injustice on them it is not my word but I am bringing you a preamble to what we are about to do right now because it is going to come from the horse's mouth and of course if you check what is going on first thing first before we go into the studio how can somebody whom you have caught red-handed in several occasions lying to you Sometimes they will bring, you know, just like they have brought uh, so many pictures of old sit at home done in January. In January. To tell you that everyone is now sitting at home, including the coastal region of Biafra, that they are all sitting at home. What does that tell you? Does that tell you that such a person is honest? Does that tell you that such a person has what it takes to give you freedom because freedom is like a heaven that you will achieve with truth and honesty and that is the same thing we are trying to fight against 
Zoological Republic called Nigeria. Because they are on they are not honest. They are insincere. That is the reason why we have risen up to separate ourselves among the unbelievers who are insincere, who can never be sincere in their lives. And somebody is coming to now use insincerity to get you freedom. And you believe in them. Is something wrong with you? Are you okay? Now, before we go into the studio, of course you have seen all this shenanigan about government in exile. You have seen all this shenanigan that they have created government in exile, which I did exposition from the same day he announced it, where he also used his mouth to say that the government in exile they are creating it might not be, uh, you know, it might, it, is, it might not be recognized, but they can still issue you legal documents or legal, legal representatives. You ask him question, legal representative under what umbrella or under what organization, since it is not recognized? Now, there is a letter story, you know, that is, you know, coming up with this government in exile shenanigan and i made it clear to you that the person who you know you know actually declared government in exile was Owazurike, right Owazurike declared government in exile and the simon came to tell you he did not create a government in exile he activated it which means activation of government in exile which means it is that one of owazurike said to all owena to own the mother hello he activated it which means and he is telling you they have already cabinet they have this they have that so in whose footstep is he working on of course, it was Rike. Now, I want you to pay more attention to what I am about to bring to you as we go into the studio. Trouble to those who want trouble. We will make peace to those who want peace. And we will give trouble to those who want trouble. The freedom of Biafra will be from the beginning to the end until the flag of Biafra is raised. And on there is, you know, before we go straight to that place, I want you to I want to tell you now what to expect. I want to tell you what to expect from this, you know, video that you just listened to what you are going to see here because i don't i want you i want it to when it is also speaking you will be picking it up yourself so that i will not need to you know go deep 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 to explain it to you so that you will understand and when you are listening to the voice look at the actions look at the facial expression you look at it all I want you to pay attention to the eye contact, pay attention to the body language that you may understand that, you know, when you are busted, when you are busted, you know, I know I did it. It, just, it will be like, I know I did it, but let me try to be strong, you know, because now, you know, if I, if I, if I, if I, if I, if I mess up this time around, I am gone for good. You will see it in the activities of that infiltrator chief. We will pay very good attention to what he is saying. Pay very good attention to what he is doing. Now, listen very attentively. Let me see if you are able to see 
the video if i bring it to the other screens let me see how big it is going to be because i want you to i want you to like literally i want you to see the expressions so now what i am going to do let me place that video on a big bigger screen so that you will be able to understand what i am talking about I will place it to the bigger screen. Till the Biafra is recognized internationally and the independence of Biafra is declared. Those who kill other people thinking that Yes, now I have to bring it closer. Now, I believe you can still hear me. I believe you can still hear me. Let me now show you exactly what, ex what I am talking about. I hope I am still coming out. Somebody confirm for me if you are watching from uh okay. Somebody confirm for me if we are still coming out. I hope I am okay. still coming out. Yes. Somebody confirm. Now, let us go there. The reason why I presented it for him to be in a place where you will be reading the body language, you will be reading the facial expression for you to know that everything that this guy has been doing it is all about trying to lie to you it is all about trying to manipulate you that is the reason why i have asked you so many times ask this guy where did he come from so that you will go and check if this guy is really Igbo blood or if this guy is really biafra blood before we will be dealing with him you know fulani and he will be acting as if he is fighting for what me and you are fighting for. If you look at it, if you talk about the exposition, exposition does not make you a good person in this regard. Because now, if you see what Babangida said, Babangida did the exposition on Nigeria. He said Nigeria is not yet a country. It's not yet a nation, rather. He did exposition. Obasanjo have done exposition on the country. Does not mean that they want you to have Biafra. They are doing it for their own selfish benefit. For what they are going to benefit whenever they try to, you know, act like they are giving voice to, you know, bringing voice into what we are doing, the revolution, the revolution that is, you know, taking place. And they know that they will be called to settle, to be settled. That is exactly what we are actually seeing here. Now, let us go there. Read the body language, read the facial expression, and you will discover that this is a busted person. He is busted. Now, let's go. They are not going to die. Those who kill other human beings, those who kill other Biafras, you will pay dearly in the due time. And like we, are, we have said in the past, we will not stop hunting those who hunt us. We now, he talks about those who kill other Biafrans. Those who kill other Biafrans. That they will never go unpunished. Now let me show you the latest development. Let me show you the latest develop development. I don't want to be... This is not what we are here to talk about. But I want to show you a latest development with regards to what he is saying. The reason why he is saying it, he knows that his boys... The boys that he kept on the ground. That he's using to siphon your money. The criminals... 
not actually boys, the criminals, they have killed again. They have killed again. I want you to pay attention to this video I am about to show you. I'm going to show you on the phone because I don't know how you are you will be able to see it. Now you will pay attention to this video that I am showing you. Pay very good attention. Pay very good attention. You see. Did you see how they wasted this able-bodied Biafra? It is his voice. He went to, to join them in the name that he is joining ESN. When he discovered that it is not ESN, he decided to denounce. They killed him. They killed him. That's what they did. And he is coming to tell you those who are killing. Those who are killing. Because he, they know that if this guy move away from that place where they are, he might be exposing them. They are not even sure whether he is going to be exposing them or not. But they just gunned this guy down. And you will tell me that these people are fighting the same cause that we are fighting. When Mazen Nam the Kano that they claim that they are under his leadership, categorically made it clear that if you continue to kill our people, Biafra will not come. That we don't want to have blood on our arms, hands. You don't want to kill any Bia. We have lost 3.5 million and counting. That if we continue to kill, Biafra will not come. And somebody you don't know where they come from. Now continue going ahead. Killing your people. In the name that they have, uh, they know their secret. Did you see that guy? He could be, he is a brother, husband, father, uncle, to people. They ended him just like that. Unarmed people, unarmed person. Is it not cowardice? Act of cowardice. You know, every atrocities that these people have committed in our land, in the name of autopilot, in the name that they are fighting for you, and those of you whom they are fighting for, you will pay for their calamity. Those of you whom they are claiming they are fighting for, that is giving them their support, they will all take path and pay for every calamity and curse that automatically has given to these people by the gods of our land. They will take part. On it. Don't think that you will be acting ignorant. You will be following them as if you will be telling yourself, I'm ignorantly following them. You are mistaken. You are mistaken. Because you will. I, I told you, my friend, and I, I could have told you. The difference is clear. The difference is clear. Different is clear. Now let's all go now to the real deal, the real business of the day. Let us go there. And now you will see exactly what I'm talking about. We will not stop looking for those who look for us. We will not stop giving trouble to those who give us trouble. Nobody is exception. Those who think that they have monopoly of violence. We will tell them that we are mad. This is trying to cover up what I just told you now. What I just showed you now. He is trying to cover it up. But that is not why I'm here. Let me skip a little bit. Now, if you will understand what you are seeing right in front of you. The article 
you are seeing or the document uh, PDF you are seeing right in front of you, you will know about the exposition which I did day before yesterday or yesterday because I did mention that he brought this article, he googled it, he bring it, he does not know the full history behind it. He went ahead, he brought it back and he started talking based on what he has learned probably from my teaching but let us hear from him before we go to how he was exposed before then listen i will give it like you know 60 seconds he sent a letter to the emir of bachi warning him the sultan of sokoto wrote a letter to the of bachi of bauchi warning him to desist from oppressing his people but he does not obey your instruction nor listen to your word of wisdom here frederick lugard was giving the sultan of sokoto accolade he gives him accolade that he have wisdom and he have tried to advise the emir of bauchi so he was actually praising him in this letter I have therefore been compelled to send my troop to compel him to act properly. I do not know whether he will oppose them and fight no power or strength, save in God on high. This with salutation received on May 1902. Are you hearing it? Fulani started from the beginning to deal with the British. They dealt with them mercilessly. That is why today they respect them. That is why him, Lord Luga, why British was Listen. writing the history of Nigeria or writing the history of Niger area. They were busy cutting, you know, giving themselves a haircut, a, a stylish haircut. Because I know I made a, um, some, you know, I did uh, make uh, some gestures, or should I call it gestures? Or, uh, you know, I told you that the people from the south, that they were actually trying to, you know, for their, 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 their big stomach, that when Britain approached them to tell them, we will give you the biggest, you know, country in Africa, the largest and the giant. We will make you the giant of this Africa. Now, without them knowing, it is to use them to solve the budget deficit of the North, which they have already, you know, have in the palm of their hands. Because now, the North was trying to head to the South, to conquer the South. But there was a serious, you know, you know, they, you know, they repelled against them. There was a serious, you know, battle. So that is the reason why when Britain came, they met them halfway. They met them there. They saw the tyranny of the Fulani against the Hausa people. Against the Hausa people. Because they came in and they colonized Hausa. They emasculated Hausa. They now practicing tyranny they have they are using tyranny on the houses after that that's when you started hearing house Fulani. when they discovered this place where we are there is nothing that is here that we are going to use to sustain we and you because we are actually in this region because of some certain agenda you are here to emasculate them we are here for the resources of the south therefore we are going to bring two of you together and we are going to approach them through lies and deceit that is the only way they will be they will be able to manipulate those leaders representing the south now they came in they lied and they deceived them they gave them room to have the amalgamation Without you knowing, they are eyeing that thing that is coming out of your land. To hand it over to these people who want to emasculate you. 
to give them money while they are trying to emasculate you, the Britain will be exploiting your resources. Because you will be busy fighting the emasculation. While the busy is be Britain will be busy exploiting your natural resources. That is exactly what happened there. I gave you this analysis yesterday. So he went ahead, uh, he went back to bring it back to learn from his mistake. You know, at least you learn from me, you learn from us. But will you ever accept? But that is not the reason why I'm here. Let me actually take you straight to the reason why we are here. Okay. They, they, have, they are using sophisticated weapon, AK-47 and machine guns. First struggle we are talking about. Mm -hmm. It's a see if our people are just like, they are looking for recognition in this. I uh, may need to play it from here. Yep. Contributes. Mm -hmm. This thing has really been bothering me. All right. Just like what we have. All right. Some people say I should refresh. Contributes. Mm -hmm. This thing has really. Been you see what you are hearing now? This is a core autopilot. What you are about to see here now, a co-autopiloted woman. And they probably, these, these are one of these in the Ogonogi, those who are wearing hoodie like with Azoka and all these people. When you see them, they say, Omoada. This is one of them. You know, now discovered whom this guy really is. And because he knows, she knows, they have been working together. And she knows how this guy escaped lies. That's why she first of all went to a platform of new recruited, or, or, or I wouldn't say, you know, two-faced that was recruited long time ago. He was dancing in the middle. But ever since the, the Nelly and, the, and Sima is sidelined. They recruited him fully, tell him to stop, you know, playing in between. He is now playing with them. The same person, he, she went, she went to the, the platform of that guy called, you know, she went there. She now exposed everything that she need to expose against Eberima. Now, after it, Eberima now came into a program very quickly. Because she knows that what that woman dropped there is a bombshell. That anybody that is following autopilot, that the brain is still working intact, is going to understand and discover exactly what we've been preaching all this while. Now, let us listen to them. Bothering me. All right. Just like what we All right. Some people say I should refresh. Here we go. I want you to listen. Pay attention. I uh, may need to play it from here. Yep. About, about. Mm -hmm. take the um, before I show you something. Somebody was asking a question here. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Yeah, welcome to the program. Please, can you speak up, Biko? Mazi. Uh -huh. Welcome. Hello. Yeah. Biko, um, there's something I want to contribute. Mm. This thing has really been bothering me. All right. Just like what we're talking about. Pay attention. Pay attention to the body language. About our people. And uh, in this struggle, about mm. this, uh, the African struggle we are talking about. Mm -hmm. It's as if our people are just like they are looking for recognition in this. And the way I'm feeling about what is going on is hurting me, it's hurting me. I'm my humble. One of them, I'm actually, I'm Jesse. It's in Maryland, USA now. 
This is, the, this is the new recruit. Uh, in fact, he's been there, but he was playing double agent. And uh, now, this where this is where they call the woman called in because he knows how propagandous this guy called a Berima in Finland is. That's why he she decided to call to this Nsima replacement. That is what they, he, she did. Now she heard the truth there. Now I want you to watch how this Eberima disgraced himself. That even if it is toddlers that are following him, they will be able to understand lies that is in front of them being told. They will be able to understand when somebody is playing a resistance in order to cover up lies. Listen. government. <laughs> First of all, he claim he do not he does not know whom the woman is. <laughs> First claim, don't forget, we are by we are taking a prima faki. First of all, he she does not know he does not know whom this woman is. But we will continue to see find out if indeed he kn he knows whom the woman is. From there, we take it from there. Continue. Tell her that I am playing her audio and I'm going to answer to the lies he have, she have told here. This woman said that uh, they invited me in a meeting where they are discussing how to form Biafra government in exile. That was a big lie. That was a very big fallacy. First of all, this woman should have asked question. The government in exile is already in existence. We didn't form it. Now, the confirmation of what I told you, the government in exile is already in existence. They didn't form it. They follow Owazurike, declared government in exile. And there is no way you will follow Owazurike, declared government in exile, without working with Owazurike. Hello? So, if... They are following Owazurike declared government in exile. Whom are they walking in their footsteps? That is number one. It is not part of the exposition, but we are also still building preambles. But let us continue. The government in exile have got cabinet. I didn't form it. The government in exile has prime minister. <laughs> I did not appoint it. The government in exile have been in existence. What we did was to activate government in exile 
to control the entire Biafra territory to give them that particular validation. Okay. That is what we did. But this woman don't know anything. The meeting that I was invited to was a meeting that we mutually agreed. When somebody called Onyise, who is a serial betrayer, because Mazen Namdeka no sacked him, a serial betrayer, Dr. Onyise Listen. appeared in a meeting that we had with some group. This group brought Dr. Onyise immediately I saw Dr. Onyise. I do not know who he is. He said his name is Dr. Onyise. I said, oh, are you the Dr. Onyise that Mazen Namdeka no sacked? Are you Dr. Onyise that they say you are a very bad man? Are you Dr. Onyise that they say you are a serial betrayer? He Did you hear that? The one that Mazen Namdeka no sacked Remember my opening remarks. Dr. Oni said the one that Amazon named the Kano sacked. Let's continue. He said to me, well, uh, you know, a lot of people are saying a lot of this. You don't know how many Dr. Oni said there are there. And uh, so I said, you know, I don't have anything against you personally. I don't know who you are. I have not done any business with you. But I have heard a lot of bad things about you. So, but if this group that I am having meeting with today brought you here, I don't have anything against you because the group asked me, do you want us to kick this man out of this meeting? I said, why should you kick him out? You brought him to the... The group brought this man that was already sacked by Mazen Namdekanu, the serial betrayer. The serial betrayer. The group brought him who, for you to understand that this group is a Wazurike group. A Wazurike group. But the one that all people might be knowing that, you know, that's why they started with him. They call him Onyise or Onyi 7. They started with him so that they will confuse the narrative. Pay attention. This meeting, which means. You trust him. So it is not me that will not tell you who to deal with and who not to deal with. But you are going to see if Dr. Onyise is a good man, you are going to see it. If he's a bad man, you are going to see it. He has not done anything against me. I have not had any dealing with him. So for that reason, Dr. Onyise should stay in this meeting. That was how Dr. Onyise stayed in this meeting. This woman who is lying here do not have this knowledge of what I'm telling you today. Okay. After we had that meeting, Dr. Onyi these are the people who told you that they are disciple of Mazen Namdekanu. Disciple of Mazen Namdekanu recruiting the people Mazen Namdekanu sacked. Disciple of Mazen Namdekanu working with this, the sacked people, the serial betrayers, working with them, telling you they have not done anything to him. We are in a struggle, have you forgotten? That whoever that have wronged the struggle have wronged you if you are truthful to the cause of this struggle. Are you paying attention when he tell you that only he said only it only it has not done anything with him to him? It means that we are using you know personal interest to fight this struggle. Is it what the narrative you are trying to sell to us. The leader who is languishing in the Nigeria DSS dungeon. The enemies that he discovered, he sidelined them for them not to set, them back, set us back in the quest for our freedom. You decided to recruit them and you are telling us that he did not do anything to you. Are you listening to yourself? Let us continue. He was very happy. I told Dr. Tony, say, you know, if you have another group you have, arrange them, let us have meeting. Okay. Dr. Tony said he was traveling, he was somewhere, and then when he go back, he's going to arrange meeting. So it happens that Dr. Tony said, arrange the meeting. Before that meeting, 
Now Tony say called me on phone and say, uh, do you think we can make peace uh, with the women? I said, Dr. Tony say, if we are going, are you working with those women? Are you working with Indida Maka and Rosemary? He said, uh, you know, uh, yes. I said, well, uh, if you are working with them, I don't have problem with who you work with. Your enemy is not my enemy. But what I'm going to tell you is that anything in the Damaka and Rosemary is not now. If we are going to make peace with them, it's not now. A lot of things are going on. A lot of things have gone wrong. So let us sort whatever we know we can sort now. Leave those people aside first. That was... Remember the person he is claiming is Dr. Tony he said that he does not know that he has not done anything with him. Having seen all these things that he is confessing here shows that this is somebody he's been working with. He just introduced him to you recently and claim it was the first time he is seeing he is seeing the Dr. Tony or Dr. Tony Sato. He introduced did him to you for the first time while these are we are the people who were engineering everything he was doing from underground one day he will introduce you to more for to you then one day he will introduce you to more to you and wazurike you might be shocked but in advance i am letting you know so that you might not you will not be very shocked those of you who believe that this guy is working for you? You are mistaken. This guy is there for his pocket. This guy is there for what he is going to, you know, steal from you. He is there looking for money to see if he is going to get, you know, money from politicians to enrich himself, his miserable self. That is exactly what he is looking for. And while at it, he has no choice than to continue to lie and wearing a sheep clothing, even though he's a beast. But we are going to slay his beast. We are going to slay his beast. Because we are beast slayer. As long as we are truthful to the cause of restoration of our dignity, our sovereignty, the land of Elohim to Koki Kabiyama and the face of the planet, to restore the dignity of mankind, to restore the dignity of Africa, we are going to win because we are fighting a just cause. We are not relenting. But I want you to understand that this guy, is the biggest enemy on our throat that we can you know we need to vomit him at all cost because if he continue to be there the world will see us as if you know we are playing games because of these stupid brainless individuals who call themselves Biafrans that cannot reason, dependent on people to reason for them. The same thing that happened to our ancestors that they gave in to Britain to amalgamate them to solve the budget deficit of Nigeria. And today we are suffering, you know, as a result of that. They use our natural resources to solve their budget deficit. We are suffering. You know because of their decisions and that is what somebody you don't know where he come from you don't know if he's a Fulani on a very very important mission to Fulani in order to be here to be fooling all of you because he knows he is going to enrich himself and he will tell you or give you a middle finger at some point and he is living in western world believing that his life is hanged in heaven he cannot be reached and he is using his propaganda to kill our people our able-bodied men on the ground when people are you know pro protesting for revolution people were protesting for end of a bubago militia that has that killed 14 
able-bodied men, our future soldiers. In one day, he called them to sit at home. And he continued to take old pictures and showing you to say, these people sat at home, but we're going there. But let us continue to hear from him. I want to, the reason why I place him where I supposed to be is for you to understand the facial expression when somebody is busted, it is still coming. What you are seeing here is still a child play. It is still coming. Watch, follow, and write down point. Your prima facie. Write it down. Those that Mazen Nam the Kano sacked, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, they recognize all over the world, across the nations of the world, that this guy called himself the disciple of this leader. And he went about, you know, ahead recruiting every sacked member. The ones who was sacked by the same leader he called himself his disciple. And he is working with them. And somebody will tell me that this guy is still loyal to the cause of freedom that me and you are actually embarked upon. But let us continue. What we discuss. The next thing is that I came to that meeting. I saw Rosemary. I saw Nidamaka. I was shocked. I saw the one called uh, um, um, what is the name? What is the name of the old man following them? Um, um, Mbakwe. He saw Nidamaka. He saw Rosemary. The people that refused to work with him. Because they could not share 25 million naira very well. Now, at the end of seeing them, you rejected to be in the meeting before you because you saw people you were working with that refused to work with you again, or people you have called criminals. Now, because of one thing or the other best known to you, you refuse to be in a meeting with them. But the one that you call yourself his disciple, the people he sacked, you acknowledge them, you are working with them, telling us they haven't done anything to you. But now, you refuse to work with the people that you have just misunderstanding of sharing 25 million given to you people by your sponsor, by the, by the agendist. Now continue. I saw the one come back with, I was shocked. I said... What are these people doing here with me? Uh, when you say, say, you know, I did not explain to you. I was thinking, I said, no, 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 no. I cannot be in the same meeting with these people. And this attitude, when you say you have just displayed now, is not good. You don't do that. That I cannot be in the same meeting with Rosemary and, um, and uh, uh, what is it called? You know, with the woman. So they asked me. Do you want us to remove and kick the women away from the meeting? I said, yes, please do. I cannot be in this meeting with them. They asked me, what about Mbakwe? Should they remove Mbakwe? I said, yes, remove Mbakwe. I, don't, I can't be in the same meeting with Mbakwe. Not, okay. for, not now. I those who does not agree with him, he cannot be in the same meeting with them. But those who does not agree, who has not the Kano? You know does not agree with or is not working with he can be in meeting with them but those who does not agree with him he can be in the meeting with them i want you to continue to follow the the truth follow the the enemy follow them now continue listening and i left that meeting i left and then they call me back that they have removed them I went back to the meeting. I went back to the meeting with Madame Azuka. Because Madame Azuka. She went back to the meeting with Madame Azuka because Azuka is her is backbone. After Nelly. After Nelly, because Nelly was there. You know, immediately they could not share money well. Nelly and him have a problem. For Nelly not to expose him. He threw a nude pictures of Nelly all over the place so that Nelly could not talk. Blackmail her 
to the core that Nelly will shut up. Now, you have seen there must be somebody that must represent Nelly, which is a woman that can go to people's inbox, you know, brainwash them, tune them, those woman rapper, you know, that will come to fight his battle for him. The day Azoka will mess up, maybe Nudo of Azoka will be over over the place again. That is how it is. But let us continue because the evil that men do shall always dwell with them. Let us continue. Azoka was part of the meeting we had that led to that meeting that Onyise was organizing. Now Onyise said, Madam Azoka cannot be part of that meeting. I said, why wouldn't Madame Azoka be part of this meeting? Because Madame Azoka was in the meeting that gave mm -hmm. birth to this meeting we're having today. So if Madame Azoka is a bad mm -hmm. person, Madame Azoka would have asked these people to kick you away from the meeting in the first place. We will not be here today. So what issue do you have with Madame Azoka? Madame Azoka, I don't know who you are. But because only say and is now not interest of Biafra, but the interest of the women. Only say never had any dealing with Madame Azoka. Only say never had. Only say don't know who Madame Azoka is. Only say decided that Madame Azoka must leave the meeting. I said if Madame Azoka is going to leave the meeting, then there is no point holding this meeting. I left because I have seen that the people in the meeting are not genuine. The people in the meeting are not putting the interests of Biafra. After that, remember that before that meeting. The group we had, uh, some of the group we have alliance with, in the Diamaka and Onyise has been bombarding this group to go out there and denounce the, our alliance. I am telling you, <laughs> in the Diamaka, Rosemary and Onyise, they have been bombarding the leaders of this group we have alliance with to go out and denounce our alliance. Why were they doing so? Before you will continue, we are live, we are direct. Regardless of your place of domicile, it is five minutes on top of the hour. Regardless of your place of domicile, we are live and direct. Now he is asking a question. He said that why were they going to his back to actually make, try to, you know, sabotage their alliance with this gunmen that they are talking about do you know why because they are now fighting they're having a conflict of interest fighting amongst themselves who is going to be in charge of this gunmen so that because of course i told you arm struggle is a lucrative business for politicians arm struggle is a lucrative lucrative business for politicians who is going to be in charge of this armed struggle? Because it is a business for whoever that is going to be in charge. That is the reason why you see them fighting. This person called this person, cancel the alliance, we will make it with you. This person called that person, cancel the alliance, we will make it with you. That is exactly the game they are playing. But so many of you, because you have dropped bible and picked up cigarette that is the reason why you have you will never ever read in between the lines let us continue to destroy everything we are doing and i come to a meeting and see such people what am i going to sit down to do with them this woman shouting this thing now don't know this uh, this story is this woman aware that that dr Nye said have been going around telling all the people we have alliance with to give them their names of their commanders that they have formed government in exile. Is this woman aware of it? Dr. Onyise is not part of government in exile. They only brought Dr. Onyise just three weeks earlier, before that meeting. This woman... Make sure you don't go anywhere because the same woman... That we are talking about the witch. The witch will call into this in this in this program. The, the person will call into this program. 
and you will see how <laughs> you know you will see exactly how to you know to get away with criminality you will learn from him even though it is very obvious to see that he is lying that the criminal is lying you know the reason why i am saying for you to see how to get away with the criminality i'm talking about those brainless individuals bigots that cannot reason those i'm talking about so but let's continue i have this knowledge i am telling this thing because it is something that can actually be public so tell this woman is she aware that dr Onye said went to the group we have alliance with and they asked the commander to give him all the names and numbers of his com commanders that mm -hmm. he want to contact them that they have formed government in exile who formed government in exile because i told you they are fighting on who will control this military this militia group because they have tried with esn it failed they are now looking for who is going to control these ones because they know how much they siphoned when they have those few people that are stealing for them in Biafra land in the name of ESN. They know how much they siphoned. So they want to be in, every of them want to be in the forefront who will control the militia. Who will control the militia? That is the fight that you see going on. And I, I know during this fight, a lot of truth is coming out. Let us continue. The government in exile is already in existence. Dr. Onyese knows who is the prime minister of the government in exile. Wow. Dr. Onyese knows the cabinet of the Biafra government in exile. After I have announced the activation of government in The same Dr. Onyese that he said he didn't know that it was the first time he is meeting Dr. Onyese. And he asked Dr. Onyese, they say that you are a very big liar and a very big, you know... What did he call him? Uh, blackmailer. Is the same Dr. Oni he said now that knows everything. Knows everything. Remember, he didn't know Dr. Oni he said. He came into the meeting or he was introduced to him. But Dr. Oni said happened to know everything. Everything. So let us continue. Continue gathering your prima facie. Exactly. Dr. Oni said now gather this woman and begin to appoint president and all that when you actually also know who are the cabinet i didn't form the government in exile this woman is just an ignorant woman if if, if she could not if she did not apologize i will lay cause on her because they actually push her to come and start saying things she knows nothing about so tell her to come and watch this this particular broadcast i'm gonna lay cause on her if she did not go back to that program and apologize because she have no knowledge she didn't even hear my own story she didn't even know what is going on this woman said that they invited me in a meeting to discuss government in exile which government in exile are you discussing when you have government in exile the <laughs> prime minister of the government in exile reside in the united kingdom what are you talking about so you see the prime minister of government in exile resides in United Kingdom, <laughs> which of which Mazen Namdekanu never spoke about him. But this guy claimed that he is Mazen Namdekanu's disciple. Disciple that is speaking what Master never spoke about. Disciple that is introducing what master never, you know, introduced or implementing what master never ever wanted to implement. And he is still the disciple and you agree with him. Let us continue. Let us continue. I want you all to understand that even as yesterday, Dr. Onyese called one of the leader of the group we have alliance with and told him, Give me the name, the names and the commanders or, the, or your commanders that you are you are not the owner of Biafra. We have formed government in exile. It is going to be in Washington, D.C. Who told, who gave Dr. Who is Dr. Onyese? 
This is a serial betrayer. And when they were talking about this doctor, and you say, I didn't even, you know, but me is that you must, you must, uh, you know, I must see where, how bad you are. So I want to play the woman. If you know this woman, go and invite her to come here. American veterans. While us, American veterans of Igbo descent. In the Avidis now, they were last year. Because of Hagara, Avet, Hanagara, Yana US, Yana US, Yana White House. We will bring it closer to you when it is necessary. We will bring it closer to you when it's time for you to use your capturing to capture the facial expression and all that things and the, the movement of a liar. We will bring it closer to you. Oh, this group, we think I'm just like a athlete. How many cities? 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 Look at, look at, look at. They asked the woman to come and talk. I want to tell you today. This is the reason why I have ignored everything about the fake, the fake and betrayer. Avet or whatever Avet or whatever they call them. I don't deal with uh, people that have criminally uh, uh, that are criminally minded people. Mm -hmm. Avid Avid is a genuine organization of the Biafra uh, veteran or whatever they call them. You American... don't even know what they are called, but you are working with them. You don't even know what they are called. You are claiming Avet, Advit. They are the true. <laughs> aye, 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 our people. But you saying they are the true people that is working for Biafra. When did you meet them? And who are those involved? <laughs> Question for him to answer. But pay attention to the to the to, to, to what we have at hand now. Uh the Biafran uh, veteran. <laughs> how they call them so this avid is the only people that i have worked with that i know that are genuine they are being led or cheered by sly some a man a man is it called sly sly is the leader of the avid and they have appeared on my program these are the people i can work any day with if they went to washington and demanded money what is my business with that are they going if they went to Washington and collected money, what is your business with them? But these are the same people you are working with. Which name did they use to go to Washington and collect money? Biafra name. And they collect money because oh, this is not, this is Ununemezi Abwateke. Onyabwatankias personal yatinaba. What you people are doing is that. You can go and collect money which is from whichever politician or department you want to collect. As long as you still know that you cannot expose the activities of autopilot and their criminal. That is exactly what is going on. If they went to use the name of IPOB to, to siphon money and enrich themselves, it does not matter to you. You will continue to work with them. For you to know the, 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 the reason why this shenanigan is going on, it is all about the money. Let's continue. So are they demanding the money to how America will tell you they want to give you a weapon and do, and do this? All these things are fallacies. How does that got to do with the government in exile? How does that got to do with activating the government in exile? But I want you people to understand that after the announcement of government in exile on the 2nd of August, Onyise, with his criminal group, went on the 4th of August to start setting all these uh, kangaroo president and appointing themselves, Nidamaka and Rosemary 
Omo wa yin di o shi 21 million uh, naira of uh, ESN money. They have not accounted for it. <laughs> How can I miss? Come and sit down with such criminals. Onyise have just demonstrated that he is a serial betrayer. Onyise knows the Prime Minister of Govern Biafra government in exile very well. Onyise went behind the Prime Minister and connived with somebody called Nwisi uh, uh, from the United Kingdom. Make him a president. <laughs> oh! The same Onyise that Mazen Nam the Kano sideline that you agreed to work with because he never did anything to you. Now the same Onyise now you are saying because they called the militia group to say that they should not follow you. They should follow them. For you to understand that these are gangs of thieves. Gangs of thieves looking to rip from where they did not sow. Looking forward to rip from where they did not sow. These are the people we are talking about here. Gangs of thieves. It is all about their interest. Anything that is not about their interest, it does not matter. Are you paying attention? Anything that does not put food or money in their pocket, it does not matter. Only you say, let us go to your house, boy. Hi, hi, hi. The same person who has not done anything to you personally. And you agree to work with him. You accept him in the meeting. You could not accept uh, those that was working with you until 25 million came on board. Or 30 million came on board. <laughs> Let us continue. But I want to tell you, Biafras, today that do not worry. Only say and his group, they are dead on arrival. Okay? Mm. The Biafra government in exile is intact They're now you know what is going on only say discovered that this you know this one here <laughs> he came close to this one here he was working with this one because uh, you know at the end of the day two captain can never sail on one boat only say discovered that this one here does not even know anything about who was Rike Biafra a government in exile. Does not know a lot that he knows better than him. And they were working together. Working together until only say now dribble him and went ahead to control the militia group. Do, went ahead to control the militia group. And at the end of the day, <laughs> you know, he now discovered that when he said now he's a criminal. The same man, Mazen Nam the Kanu, told us, sacked him because of his illegal activities. You continue working with him. Now, because he saw that you are going to Hijack the militia group and make the money alone. Or Piagia. Now he has become a criminal. You have you have agreed with Mazen Nam the Kano. But before you didn't agree. Before he did, you can work with him because he didn't do anything wrong to you. You can have meetings with him. You can dine with him. But immediately now up again. Because I got you man Nam the Kano got pure order. Oh, you go Giana because as only you, you ought to go. You want to put that? as the 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 victim because that's what you always do. That's what you always do. They are going to come to this program to address Biafra France very soon. You are going to know who the cabinets are. Mm -hmm. You are going to know them. I <laughs> did not. This woman said that. I went and formed. I did not form Biafra government in exile. Mm -hmm. The government in exile is already in existence and there is history. Created by Owazurike, 
who else is already in existence created and controlled by Wazulike that's why he, there is history 1999 and 2007 that is the history <laughs> let's continue of it and so how can people wake up and be lying against Simon Epa? everybody going from one platform to another to lie when you don't have the fact when you don't know what happened is this woman aware that the Biafra government in exile have a history that there are prime minister after another prime minister another prime minister came in that what we try to do now is to give them the legitimacy of controlling Biafra land because Biafra is coming next year when we give them the legitimacy because one of the criteria for the government in exile to have some kind of legitimacy is that they have control over the territory so what we are trying to do now is not the issue of mm -hmm. autopilot it's not the issue of IPOB. It is that every activities we do, those ones that has to do with the control of the Biafra territory, has to fall under the government in exile. Government in exile. Now he is trying to hijack this struggle. You know, he's trying to hijack this struggle, give it to Nigeria politician Hotelia. <laughs> he wants to give the struggle to Hotelia so that while at it he will be giving him an aid an aid to commit his own crime against ipob led by mazen namdekano in case if you people are not understanding what is going on here let me explain it further to you what is going on here is that these people and among others those that we have been, you know, sabotaging Mazen Nam the Kano, that Mazen Nam the Kano sidelined so that they will stop sabotaging him. They went ahead, recruited each other, all of them. But today they are all having problems. Because anybody who is not truthful to the cause of this, free, you know, fighting for the restoration of our dignity will never ever last any group will never ever last they will never ever uphold because this is a just cause millions of people have died for this cause therefore anybody who is converting it into a business is going to die because it is a blood money that you are taking that is how it is now i want you to know that all of them that are involved in this i i laugh at their end how their end will be i laugh because how it is going to happen you will be sure as, the, as long as the blood have flown, they have shed our blood. We have also shed their blood. So, it is a blood, you know, money that if anything you use the name of this struggle to acquire, it is going to kill you. It is going to destroy you. It is going to disgrace you. It is going to even go down to your generation. As long as you are lying to the people, to the dead, to our heroes who has fallen, just to make money, you are going to collect. Let's continue. This woman has no knowledge about that. She don't know anything. But she come here to start lying. Simon Epa left the meeting. Which meeting did Simon Epa left? Simon Epa went and announced. Which what Simon Epa is announcing? And this is heartbreaking. Because if this woman is supporting autopilot, 
or supporting Samuel Epa as she claimed, you know, which are not claim doubting. now. She should have known. It's now becoming as she claimed. <laughs> but those are the people he's always in a Zoom meeting with. Let's continue. Look for a way to contact any of the women that to reach me and ask me difficult question to know what is going on. What she said he said that he should reach him. She should reach him and ask him difficult questions to know what is going on. Let us move ahead fast to that woman reaching him and asking him difficult question and see if he answers those difficult questions. Let us just move straight to that. When you say you are on your own, go ahead and sold lies to them. If actually what he's saying is from on you say side. Why would this woman is she a member of government in exile? <laughs> Honestly, uh this is what I am telling you before we go there. That one day these people are position mongers. Position mongers. Once they call them, I am going to make you a prime minister. I am going to make you a secretary. I am going to make you this and that. Umuoko, they will be carried away. The same way Britain deceived our ancestors. And they allowed the amalgamation to take place. To solve the budget deficit of Nigeria. That is the same problem that we are facing today. With this infiltrators. The same problem we are facing today. They will use position to law you. And they, when they law you to the naughty corner, by the time you realize it, you cannot go back because you don't have any place to, to be. You wouldn't have a choice. Other than to either you, 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 you turn against them or you kill yourself. Let us continue. Let us go there straight. The level of lies and sabotage and desperation for power or in, in most of these people. You see what I am saying? Desperation for power, the power mongers. The level of desperation for power. He knows that people are desperate for power that they don't even know how to be in power. That is what he is confessing. That is what he's using against those Efulevus. Because they are desperate for power. And he's using the same thing they are desperate of for against them. Now let's continue. From Avid, from real Avid. Kareji, oh, you know, Kaja Kawareki, Biafra. When you have the cabinet of Biafra government in exile, ex in existence. Hey, it is not like that. It can never be like that. There is a new sheriff in town. The business as usual will be blocked or die. So what are you telling me? That is why they are here talking rubbish. And this woman. Simon. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> All right. Thank you, but maybe she is looking for to become a minister of finance <laughs> of uh, Biafra government in exile because I do not know I do not know what she's doing in a meeting of government in exile if it, if the meeting is actually for government in exile I'm there promise her finance minister or conjunct Okonjoy well of, uh, of Biafra. <laughs> now, <laughs> before we, I will bring him it up and I will, bring, I will go down. To, I... Before we go down, I will bring him up and go down to small screen so that you will be seeing the facial expression. When they hit the point, they hit the point where he's supposed to, you know, expose him to his gullible idiots. Before now, I want you to check where this guy come from. He cannot even pronounce Okonji. He says it's Okonjo. Okonjo. Even if he's speaking a Bakeleke language, 
you will still bear with me that Abakeleke can pr pronounce Okonji, not Okonjo. If I and the a fan on a freedom fight, and he never told you that he's not Igbo, he said he's Igbo. You will tell me that this this Eberima is Igbo, but that can that cannot speak Igbo. Was he born in Europe? Of course, he was not born in Europe. He people are from wherever he is. He went to Europe in 2003. In 2003. So why is it that he cannot speak his dialect, his mother, mother tongue? He is trying to force it. As an endowment in America. Dude, if we want to be, act like we cannot understand our mother tongue, you won't even believe it. You know, but this dude is a Fulani boy, a, an agent sent to ruin what we are doing. If you doubt it, look for where he come from. Ask him where does he come from. He wouldn't tell you, of course. He would never dare tell you who is his father. You need to find out if he's fathered by Fulani. And you are here calling him. Uh, uh, he's claiming the f disciple of Mazen Nam the Kano. Fulani will always remain truthful to Fulani. Whether they are being, having mother of Indibo. Whether they are being fathered by Indibo. As long as Obara Fulani is in them. They will never cease to exist that blood of Fulani. In them. Find out where he come from. He cannot pronounce Okonji. It's not Okonjo. Hey! To Fiakwa! Let us continue. That is a promise. Uh, they say, come and uh, let us make you Okonjo Iwala of, uh, <laughs> of the Afro government in exile. Because the thing is like really eating her up. So, I do not know why she is a. Uh, if the meeting they invited me was uh, the Afro government in exile. I don't know why she's in the meeting. Did she want to become the prime minister or did she want to become the Okonjo Iwala, finance minister of the Afro government? Yes, because it's it they would take care. <laughs> it's it they would take care. Let's go there. You know? All right. Um, um, like I've just said to you people, I think, um, I think uh, I have just wasted a lot of time. But it is good to address these things. And I want to, I want to receive call because this kind of uh, lies are capable of, uh, you know. <laughs> Remember, he said, call that woman to ask me any difficult question you want to ask me. Any difficult question you want to ask me. Now we will find out any difficult question that she want to ask her. Ask him if he is able to answer those difficult questions or not. Or trying to downplay it. Now listen. For those who want to listen to lies and all that. So I want this woman. Please. If you know this woman, tell her to call. Okay. Tell She's her going to call, to call now. now. So that Biafra will let her come and ask questions. In fact, she can even ask Dr. Onyise to stay by her side and be telling her the question to ask me. Did you hear that? Remark that. That he is willing to take any question. He can even tell Dr. Onyise to be on, on the side, asking her, telling her what to ask, that is ready to answer those questions. Now, let's see if his word is what he will keep. Because that's what he continued to do to you. Let us see if his word is his bond. You will find out that he is a cheap liar. He is a cheap manipulator. That's what he is. Listen. I am opening the line. Please, let her call if she want to. Otherwise, I'm going to end this broadcast in the next... But uh, tomorrow, we are going to continue from the, uh, you know, uh, the educating you on the chatter on the Biafra chatter, like we, where we stopped yesterday, because I don't want this. I don't want to be having, a, a, you know, um, a, a hours, long hours, because somebody suggested 
that we do not need to be having long hours uh, in our broadcast. So. Right, welcome to the program. Are you the woman? No, no, no. This is Mazo Onye Kachuku. Onye Kachuku. One of the hardcore. Welcome to the program. Mazi, thank you, my, my, my great comrade. Thank you so much. Mazi, I am not happy. I'm really pissed off. At this point in time, we are in this struggle. Person like you that have contributed immensely. This is a ginger weed. He, he, his fellow ginger weed called first before the lady will call. I want you to listen to his fellow ginger weed. His fellow ginger weed. Those are the ginger weeds that are on the side that will call to clear the air from whom their spirit is. You know, those are called spiritless human beings. People with no soul. They just, these are the people when breeze. If wind come, it blows them this side, they go. It blows them the other side, they go. These are the people we are talking about here. Those are the people they want to, you know, redirect the narrative of everything that is transpired here. Even before the woman we call in, they want to now brainwash these people. Listen to that, uh, that uh, Eberima that is calling. Eberima himself. Listen. That even the blind person can see. We don't need to have this kind of uninformed, mumulistic, fulistic, dumb woman uh -huh. to be talking trash on, on, no, on, publicly. So I don't need it. We don't need it. We need to have people that. Check that smack on his face. That smack on his face shows you that a man that is busted. This is still a small baby, baby smack. You will still see a man that is busted trying to act up, but you can never hide a reflex action. Something called reflex action. You know, action that takes place even when you are trying to stop it, it continues coming. That's what you are going to see right in, 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 you know, in front of your screen right now. After this, a full call and uh, you will hear it. We handle this kind of woman and have them deal with legally. Enough of this. We don't need any kind of betrayer or saboteur at this point in time. How dare her? It's, it's unbelievable. It's we unbelievable. don't need this kind of woman. We have suffered enough. She stands uninformed. Chai. Okay? How can she be trash? With, listen, we do, if you don't know how we take you, we don't know if you don't know how we see you, eh? After Martin Nanika, let me say it. You are listening. Will anybody who toy with you talk with Biafran? Mm -hmm. Okay? Which is Biafran? Where Fulefu? You don't even know where he come from. Hey, Fulefu. Is there anybody who toy with a Berima toy with Biafran? Which Biafran is he talking about? <laughs> you know, this Biafran is. Nah, Biafra Tabolo, we are now. Biafra has suffered. You know? Anybody who toy with a, a, a criminal is toiling with Biafra. Hey, Biafra is not into criminality. Biafra, we are fighting a just cause to restore our dignity. Let us continue. This time of people, we need to, be, we need to show her picture so that we can warn her closely and her number. And not very, 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 very uninformed, uninformed woman. Uh, Apu have died. How can this, this kind of woman be talking blah 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 basket mouth? <laughs> as if she okay, as anyway. if she know, as if she know what she's talking about. <laughs> ah. yeah, are you listening? Story I uh, sorry, uh, sorry, uh, sorry for their fans. Please sorry for my my ad, but please I'm shut really, up and really, get so, out. Mas, please, I'm sorry because you really, 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 you are you are, you are a leader. You are public at respect and in fact. You have you, you, you have you have tolerance so much. I'm telling you, I commend your efforts because Thank of the you. things you are correlating. I don't think I can be able to tolerate. I don't. I can't. I don't. I don't have the, the. Now let us see if he has that tolerance that they claim that he has. Continue. Yeah, to this kind of thing. But <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you so much for all your. Thank you for all your good work. Thank you. I'm very telling much. you, thank I you very have much. to warn all these people that anybody that insults, man, someone, insults, man, don't you catch people? 
Easy K Y. Okay. Listen, we don't need to be. Listen, we need to. We need to. We need to. Uh, 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 celebrate and 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 uh, and protect our our truth, full hard workers jealously. <laughs> Not all these saboteurs and and uh, uh, a pluralistic wolf in two skin. <laughs> can let money mongers. All right, thank you, thank you. Let me bring another person. <laughs> oh yeah, I cannot speak on the grammar finish. Which one other people are going to speak? All I'm right. Uh, welcome. You don't talk. Welcome to the program. Sorry, I'm, on I'm on the line. This is. I'm. I'm on the line. Yes, I learned you've been calling me to come and ask you some questions. Are you the one? And are I you the one? I just yes. played your voice now. Yes, I'm the one. All right, go ahead. Yeah, so, please. so I now have I have just. I want to ask you. Please, okay, have you, me. first of all, can, please, please, I'm gonna ask you, uh, please, on, please, 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 I know you are going to talk. First of all, have all you been right. watching the program? Remember the, what he said, he is ready to take any question from this lady. Now he will start, have you been watching the program? Does he need to, what concern watching the program and the calling in of the woman? Because you said the woman should call in. Does she need to watch your program? All he, she knew is that you've been actually, you know, saying that she's a liar. Now she came to ask you a question. You're asking her, have you been watching, watching the program? Is it what your juju man told you to always ask those who come to challenge you? Because this is the same thing you were asking um, those autopilot who left you a few months ago. Every time they come to ask you a critical question, you will ask them, have you been watching the program? Have you been, what has watching the program to do with the question they are, they are here to ask you? But you claim that they should come in and ask you any question that you need, any critical question that they even should call on you said to be on the side, telling them what to ask also, that you are ready to answer them. Like now, let us see how this man always tell you what does not exist. Listen, right? I, uh, somebody, if he sent for me and then I wasn't watching the program because I was in another program. So where, where so did you, I, where did you join? So that I uh, will know, so that uh, we know how to, uh, I did. like, dude, does it matter? Does it matter where she joined the program? Hey, <laughs> to kill time for her to forget what she want to ask. This guy has been manipulating you guys, man. Damn it. Uh, you know, is it people watching or zombies? This is unbelievable. For her to forget the critical question, what brought her for the, you know, for that motion to be calmed, you know, for her to forget it. That's why he is bringing the delay tactics. Listen attentively. Follow the move. Follow the thief. He told me that you were calling me to come and ask you questions. I know. I'm just asking. Voice. I'm just asking no, you. Yes, where yes. did you? I'm just asking you. Where I did know you what join? I said yesterday. Okay. And then I know that you have played my voice note. All right. Also send my voice note to me today. All right. And so go I ahead. Go ahead and ask your question. I want to ask you some questions, and I want you to answer my questions one after the other. I let's not. I am. Let's not argue. Let's just go straight to the answer. Please. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Number one, do you know the meaning of avid? Who are who are avid? Avid. Do you have avid now? The leader of avid is sly. So what is the meaning? What do you want to do with the meaning of avid? The meaning of avid have nothing to do with the, the work of avid. So I know what is avid. avid. You know, I know what is know avid, please. You, uh, you know, whenever you are making your your you start your this, you sometimes you lay even when you do when you do normally lay some background, make some uh, you know take some background uh, uh, whatever. So as to before he hit uh, the point. No. The, uh, can you now so now I'm now trying, please I'm please can, no please can you ask on, me no so, I want you to ask me a question concerning. What you said, you said things about now, the government in exile. Now, remember, you should come in and ask me anything you want to ask me. Even bring somebody to be telling you what to ask. 
Now he is, he is now choosing the question the woman must ask. He is now choosing the question the woman must ask. What does this tell you, guys? What does this tell you? If your brain is never worked before and it, it doesn't work now, it means that you need to go and join those Fulani because you are a Fulani. Join them and we will know that you are our enemy because there is no Biafra that is not reasonable. There is no Biafran that is not able to read in between the lines except it is, is fathered by Janjaweed. That is exactly what I am trying to tell you now. Listen to it. He, she, he was bragging to kill the spirit of the woman before she even come. Now she is here. Now tell him. He is now trying to prescribe the question that he should be asked. Now, let's continue. Simon, you said something Lisa, about... No, 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 wait now. Wait now. Wait. Please, please, please. Excuse me. Please, I want you to ask me a question based on what you said. I want you to ask me a question based on what you said. Based on what you said here. Based on what you said in your voice. Wait, let me tell you what, why, where I'm going to. You are not going, any, you are not going anywhere. Listen, you are not Excuse going anywhere. Me, Ask me a question God, based on God. what you said. Look at you. Time let is going. Me, time is me, going. See, Killing time see, strategy. In spoken English or spoken words, they might differ from written uh, words. You know that if you learned English or maybe if you studied English, you will know that maybe written English might have a different meaning from spoken English or even other uh, language. Did you see how he is busy listening to when the woman is now deviating from what she's supposed to ask? He is giving the woman time. But when the woman wants to hit, you know, the bull's eyes, he will tell the woman, no, you are here to ask me a certain question. Ask me this question. But listen when the woman is, you know, digressing. He gives him time. He gives her time. He gives her time. Pay attention. Don't deviate. You know that even in Igbo language or even other languages. And what does and that so, imply? And, that, and what does that, that imply? What it implies, what I want to mm -hmm. tell you, what I want to let you know is I have something I need to ask you this question and then I will then I will Oya oh yeah, oh ask, Oya oh ask, Oya oh ask, Oya oh ask. Number one, I said you know the Avi, eh, Avi, who Avi ah, and who Avi ah. You know I know the two. Avid is who? What do you mean? I just told you I know the two. Go ahead with your question. What do you mean? What Avid, is that? See, let Avid me tell you. This is, is the point. Excuse me, because people are listening to us. <laughs> we are not talking. It's not just. I am. He believes that his juju, the one they call and say Nelly and him, they were doing. He believes that the delay tactics has activated his juju. He saw you ask the question. The woman went straight because the woman knows exactly what he he found she found out she knows her story that is the reason why she continued coming back to the question that is what this guy does not want to answer are you listening not, madam madam please i am not here yeah, to discuss avid and avet okay oh, ask me a question Simon, please my, my, Simon, let, let me tell you See, we are there for friends. You should know that their friends are intelligent people. And then you can just sit down here, take their friends maybe into a dark room. So maybe can it, so so your, your so your you so your concern, man. Want to, so your concern, man, is avid and avid. I I want us to get to the point. Let me get to the point. And oh my get, oh my I oh my goodness oh my goodness. First of all, first of all, in all these your stories, I never had a meeting. We're Avid and Avid, we're in a meeting together. I never had a meeting. I don't, I don't, I don't remember the woman asking you about having meetings. He asks you, do you know about these people? Who are they? You are now saying you never have a meeting. Hey, let's continue. We will see how this one will play out. Yeah. You are not letting me see, Mr. No, no, okay. Can I give you a direction, please? Can I give you a direction? Can I give you a direction? 
How can you give somebody who come to interview you, who come to ask you a question, a direction to the question they are going to ask you? Who does that? And the one who is talking on this, is it Mok News or Pak News? The one that is uh, the one, uh, you know, the, the, the chameleon who always claim that he is in between. I hope you are seeing it. Your master, the way he is answering the question that was presented to your platform. I hope you are watching it and seeing your master. Tomorrow you will come and with that your ugly face and be talking rubbish. You know, I hope you are watching how your, 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 your master is entertaining the person who came to lie in your platform according to your master. If this woman came to lie and if clear conscience fears no accusation, why is he getting worked out? Why is he getting worked up here? Instead of accordingly answering the woman's question one after another. And they are killing time. Then he will tell you this is not only what we come here to do. But let's continue and see if it is going to get to that point. Can I give you a direction? Except you don't want to talk. Where, where Can I give you, you a direction? Give a direction. I, I, I want to give you a direction. I want you to I talk about talk. government in exile. Hold on. Talk about the Biafra government, government in exile, please. Excuse me. Can you talk about government in exile? Can you can you ask question about I don't listen I am not a member please please I'm going to meet you I'm going to meet you I'm not a member I'm not a member of I'm not a member of Avid okay listen to me I am not a member of Avid I am not a member of Avid I'm not a member of these two but I have a meeting and I am a dealing I have a dealing with the Biafra government in exile. So I want your questions to be on the Biafra government in exile. The woman is want to break the coconut of Nsube. The woman want to break Nsube coconut. Had he been, he allowed this woman to say what this woman want to say. Church Abasa. The church is over. And he just you know, use psychological manipulation to bring the woman in by saying, bring the woman in, you know, bring the woman in, I will show her, bring the woman in, I will show her, then the woman is in. He is showing the woman. He's not trying to allow the woman to talk. That is called reverse psychology. He want to use reverse psychology to kill the you know, the, the, the spirit of the woman first before inviting her over. So that when she invite when he invites the woman over, he will intimidate the woman. But the woman knows that what she is asking is verified information. What she is asking is actually what she knows. And that will implicate this Eberima here. Eberima is trying to avoid it at all costs. Are you paying attention? Hello? Let's continue and see if it will eventually happen. I, not you any advert. Not any advert. Please. You called me. I don't want you to call. I don't. Uh, yes. You want to talk my own talk. Right? I don't. No, 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 no. I don't want to cut mouth. you. I don't want, want to cut you off. I don't want to cut you off. Allow me to talk. I don't want to cut you. Can you listen to me? You know, if I cut you now, if I cut you now, you don't have power anymore. You know, I have the right to cut you. I want you to answer me. Can you address me with the question of government in exile? Forget about the avid. Forget about the avid. What's the facial expression I just showed you now? And another thing, what's the eye contact, eye movement? And the, and the set, while you are at it, now you begin to ask yourself, why is it that you say to this woman to come and ask you any question you want, she want to ask you, she should even bring, uh, is it, uh, is it five, or what does she call it, that, uh, the other Iberima also that is in the sideline, that uh, they should bring uh, my five, or uh, my seven, uh, that they, he should be asking the woman what to, telling the woman what to ask you, that you are ready to answer them every question. Now they have come, 
you are now trying to tell them what to ask you. Umuoko Kondo top pilot led by this Eberima. Are you there? Are you there to kwa po unoko? Because after nka tuku ga unu nchani noko. If you cannot see the handwriting written all over the place. If you cannot see the criminality of this young man. Let's continue. See to see if eventually he will come to the party. Tell me the story of Ma, the government in exile. Money, let me tell you this. You cannot use your maybe Connie. Maybe to you, you see, let me tell you. See, you can you maybe if if you you, you say you're a learned person. All right, so now, now, you okay, now. A legal, a legal person, okay, now let me tell you let me tell you. Okay, wait, 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 wait please, 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 please. Why would you can you allow me to things? talk? You come to my program and people are watching and listening. I really mean to what you are doing. Okay? Because this pra 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 people are really meaning to it. Why won't people read meaning to it? I even commented in that program with my account. I commented in that program because I couldn't help it. Okoro mo didi. Okoro zimo didi. Comment be man. How can people not read meaning to your criminality that she is about to expose? How can my big set of bigotries not see? That you are running away from something that will expose you. From your activities, secret activities that will expose you. But you went ahead said, telling them you meet, you have a meeting with the senators in the United States. So that they will believe that you are having a meeting with maybe um, uh, Democrats. And uh, you are having a meeting with the Republicans. <laughs> Hi! When you hear this guy talking. And that is how he manipulates this set of... Fools. He will tell you he's having a meeting with senators in the United States. You will think he's an American senator. So you would not know that these are criminal he calls senators that are in their cabal. <laughs> hey. We. Oui. Oui, oui, oui. Et romance à mami water. A blind man can see this. A deaf person can hear this. Believe me. A deaf person can hear this. Now, I want you now to cool down. Ask these questions that is going to change the situation. Go ahead. Now, listen. Did you hear that? <laughs> the question that is going to change the situation after killing the whole time. Let us see if she will allow this woman to ask the same question. You will find out with me. Let's continue. Number one, you've been in this struggle, and, I, and then you know, I, I know that you've been having dealings, you've been even having uh, with Avex. You know that. And I know with, that with, what, with what? With what? Wait, let me finish. Don't talk. And no, 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 no. I'm not having. Important. Please, now, I, let I, me I, answer you. That. You say that I'll be having deal with Abvet. I am not having any deal with Abvet. Wow. Hold on, the dealing wow. I mean, I, I, you know who Abvet is. That's no, what I mean. But you said dealings. You, know you said dealings. You said dealings. What? Oh, what? When she he cut this woman off, you will now see how she will. He is going to turn everything around for his mugus. Hey. Yahoo! Oh. Is it Yahoo? Oh. Yahoo! Oh. Yahoo! Oh. This one is Yahoo! <laughs> Don't be Yahoo boy. Now Yahoo himself be this one. <laughs> Let's continue. So are you taking it back? Are you taking it back? No, are you taking it back? Can you take it back first? Can you take it back? You are lying here again. You just lied again. Can you take it back? I am not having any dealings with Abvet, so take it back. The dealing, excuse me. No, you said what dealings. I mean is this? No, Please, you on, said dealings. I am not having excuse. dealings with Abvet. Take hold it on. back. Take I, it back. That's a lie. No, you are draining my energy. Please. Can you take it back, please? Can you allow me? Can you to take stop? the lie? My sister, that is the plan to drain your energy, waste your time while convincing the stupid people that was born by Akuna. 
All the people that listen to this guy and uh, say that he is truthful to the cause, they are born of harlots. Believe you me. I'm Wakuya. I am judge money. I am the one who said it. Go and do a research about your paternity. If you listen to this guy and say that this guy is truthful to the cause, go and check your paternity. You are not what your mother told you that you are. That is how it is. You are not what your mother told you that you are. We are the children of light. We discover the truth before it is spoken. That is what we are. We are the Israelite. We are the ancient people. The God loved people. We discover things before it happens. So if you cannot see that this guy is manipulating, killing and stealing from you, you are not what your mother say you are. Go and make inquiries from this minute. It is not an insult. It is actually an advice and a compliment. Let us continue. Back. Excuse me, I said you are draining my energy. No, you say I, I have dealings. You say I have dealings. You invited me to your platform and you cannot put down your... But you said I have dealings with Advent and I tell and you I don't have dealings with them. You say, okay, not so, so take it back first. All right. Okay, let me tell you. So can you take it? Is. Can you take it back? In America, excuse me. Okay, since you don't, if you're denying that. No, I'm not. I'm not denying. Know. I don't have any dealing with them. If somebody, don't if somebody come to my program, don't, I don't have any dealing with them. Did I tell you I have dealing with them? What kind of dealing? Don't, don't worry. Don't worry. No, did I don't tell you I have dealing with them? Man, this time I, I hold on. Let me tell you. No, this. you see, you can never I be truthful. You, you can never be truthful if what you say you now is a lie you and you cannot take it me. over. You just lied now. You cannot take it back. You, you at, lied. So can you take it back? He has, he will now, because <laughs> he will use you, just lie, you just lie, you just lie, you just lie to manipulate you more. And shut the woman up and cut her off. Because once she once the woman is cut off, I am looking for this woman. I am looking for this woman. You know, if this woman, if you are watching this program, you can actually, you know, call in. Unfortunately, I cannot pin the number to this program. But if there is anybody who also wants to call in, you probably know my number. You will call in. You probably know my number. You will call in. Like I say, I'm not yet familiar with this. You know what we are, what we have here. But I can call the number of on air. Let me call out the number. You will call because I, before we continue, so that we will see how he, he ended up with the woman. We. I want you to call the number that I am going to give you in case if you want to call in. We are not in the interactive section, but we will take one call or two and then we will call it a day. The number is plus two three four plus two three four eight zero seven two seven eight eight six one three plus two three four. 807-278-8613 plus 274 okay plus 234 rather 807-278-8613 let me see if I will be able to pin it to the comment section uh, plus two three I am trying to pin the number before we hear the last lies eight zero seven 
0242788613. Only on WhatsApp. I don't take direct calls. Only on WhatsApp you can call. If you want to call a WhatsApp call only, please. And we have we have our first caller. The caller on the line, your name and where you're calling from, please. Church money, good morning. Oh, I expect you Dan. to call this program. <laughs> yeah, my dear brother, good morning. Uh, it's Marian here. <laughs> Honestly, morning. I just started watching uh, five minutes ago, so I was trying to make sense out of this. I don't know who the Advent, the Advent or whatever. I, I'm trying to understand that one. But the reason why I called, uh, this thing... Um, Whatever this broadcast, which I'm going to go back after you finish to listen and probably talk to you later. Um, whatever Simon is doing in that broadcast, trying to portray himself, he's having, or he's having a meeting, or he had a meeting with his senators. Who are these senators? Those people know. I live in the United States, okay? So I want people to know that what, what he's showcasing there is totally impossible. Um, it depends on who he calls the senators. Maybe some Biafrans or Nigerians is set up, and we don't even have uh, Nigerian bonds that are senators. So that is out of the window. Is this is not Nigeria? Okay. Mm. Even I staying here. I remember one when uh, my own um, uh, House of Assembly person, the senator called, member of you know senate called there because the election is bearing up. That was like two months ago, like soliciting for votes and all that, you know, they have their process calling me. So the guy called me, you know, was trying to talk to me to find out where, you know, my uh, is and then to encourage me to vote for their candidate. I said, listen, for me to speak with you, I would like to have a meeting. I would like to schedule a meeting with you because there's an issue that is bothering me that I would like to discuss. He said, what was that? I said, Originally, my native country is Biafra, and there's a whole lot of nonsense. My people are being killed. My people are being ethnically cleansed, and you, none of you have said anything. So for me to be a part of anybody's election from this moment hence, but I made up my mind that the person must promise me that they were going to bring awareness to the demise of my people. The individual was, okay, ma'am, I hear you, but my job is just to call to solicit for votes. Um, I cannot get, I cannot, um, my job is not to schedule that. Well, I'm just like, telling you, me ahead. that I that live here, yeah. I'm a citizen I'm here, so I've been partic I participated in a lot of, you know, all right. uh, meetings and all that, because here, no even in, in your neighborhood, we have neighborhood meetings and all that. That is how we are able, to, you can call your senators here, you know, tell them what's going on on everything. He doesn't have that ability. How much was it in meeting? These guys are not Nigerian too. Yeah, not, this is not Nigeria. So, but what I'm trying to, why I'm, what I'm trying to say is to let our people know the base or the reason why he's doing this, why he's claiming this is because of this uh, conference. Our able a dossier had yes with other people. That's the, that's the root of even this nonsense. This man that calls himself now Master Prophet, because not Master Prophet. This nonsense is this nonsense he spewed out this morning. In one hand, he's talking about that Marty is asking for civility, so people should stop insulting the But He turns around and continues to insult Mazi Edozim. My argument is where are the family of Mazi Edozim? I don't get the video of that. Uh, that where are the family? Uh, I'm telling you. I don't that get his, I don't so get his fucking program. wife. His so called fucking wife he married that looks like a ball, overblown balloon, starting from her to Kano Takano to crazy Madame Nenayanya up to. Whatever you call him in Nigeria, I don't trust any one of these family members. Let me tell you, people. Oh, there's an adage in our place. Of course. Okay? These people have no character near the character of Mazin Nadikan. Because if this character that is beaten, that is the character, Nadi, 
has it now, they has this character. Believe me, people will stop following him. Yes. This is an outrage. This man is not a member of Biafra, a Biafra project. He's not a member of IPOB. Every day he comes out of the talking bullshit, and I blame people that even pay attention to his program. That man is a disappointment. Yeah. He claims to be a, 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 that he has a spiritual power. He has nothing. I hope he's listening to this, and let him challenge me. My name is Maria Hera. I live in the United States. He knows me. He has nothing. No, he's a, he has no spiritual. Bad. He has no spiritual qualms. As a matter of fact, he's looking for help. Somebody to help his fucking ass. Yeah. Every day he's coming on. He's coming on this place of this thing and destabilizing I and that guy up. I, confusion. I didn't have time to even look for his page. No, 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 no. This thing has been. I'm, I'm so angry. The one he did today is so annoyed. He has been taking a swipe at me. If he thinks he's courageous enough, let him come and call my name. He should stop sending proxies to be taking a swipe at me. You know why I kept quiet? Silence is the best answer to fools like him. He's a complete fool. I thought he had some integrity. I thought that man has some sense. He's a complete idiot. He can't even showcase his real name. He can't even tell you his family members. He's coming here and talking about this, you know, insulting a man that is 200 times better than him. All these so-called Nandi brothers and sisters, if it's not for Nandi, who knew them? Who would have known them? They're all known entities. What are their accomplishments, even in their own locality? What have they accomplished? He can, he's coming to bash himself into a, a, a society or a community where he's not even a member talking nonsense. That's by the way. But that's what, where I, I take word into him is... This nonsense that Perima is doing is because he wants to. Because if you walk, if you watch all he has been doing, wherever or any time, whether it's Mazi when Mazi was outside, or even since Mazi has gone inside, he tried to match himself. He's in competition with himself. Mm. Okay, because nobody's competing with him. Yes. If IPO, IPOB does something on the leadership, he comes out and says, Oh, this is his own. Oh, yeah, this, you know, try to duplicate. And nobody's competing with his with himself with him. Yes. He says in, he says he's an auto, uh, autopilot. He has now finally he has so much courage to say he's an autopilot that their group is autopilot. Mm. What has he got to do with what is happening in Biafra and agitation? Uh. They have separated themselves. Nandi never Nandi Kano has never come out and say I'm autopilot. He never went in as an autopilot. Yes. Why are they invoking his name? I warned him when he started this bullshit. You want to do something, you better have your fast and have your this thing together. Okay? And then, you know, this will adjust news us everywhere. He's coming up challenging uh, uh, Donald Azubike. I don't know Don Donald Azubike, but Donald, Dr. Donald Azubike is, can feed that crazy bastard called a, a, a Master Prophet. What kind of nonsense are we having here? <laughs> is that your man doing something, white? trying to organize to take... Is he the only in-law, Mazin Nandi has? Imagine. Is he the only in-law? I understand that Nandi has, and Mazin Nandi has another sister in Nigeria. Where is the in where is the husband to that one? Why is he not making noise? The crazy Kano Takano, because that's how I addressed him today. Why is, this, is he not married? Why are his in-laws not making noise? Why are they even not showcasing themselves? The so-called stupid one they call uh, 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 Emmanuel, because all of them are a bunch of idiots as far as I'm concerned. I am saying it because I'm tired of this foolishness. All the family members of that are idiots because they have no brain. If they have brain on hand, would you mean they are for one hand on him a dungeon? An idiot and a fulefu. A man that is so confused and need help. He's coming out and trashing everything their brother and their sister they 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 has set up. And that they are keeping quiet. You begin to ask yourself, what is the ulterior motive? Do they really want Mazin Nandi to come out? Do they really want Mazin? I don't think so. And you begin to ask yourself, why is the reason? It has to be money. It has to be power. They don't want Mazin Nandi to come out. But unfortunately for them, Biafra has rejected them on, before even they arrive. They are complete rejects. I speak that today. They are complete rejects. Biafra can never accept any member of um, the Kano as anybody in this pro 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 project because they have told us, made us to know that they are useless and stupid. I, Maria Heather speaking, imagine that they comes out and say what I said, I have no apology, I will get away from the fight. This is about the people. We the people, if they don't understand it, they should
should know it today. Mazin Nandi, we told you that Masa might have started this project, but where the project is today is beyond any individual, including Mazin Nandi Kano. With all due respect, yes, he's our leader. But he cannot function without we the people. He cannot do anything without we the people. He's the one that set these people in motion. He's the people that put them where they are. And those of them don't just walk out and come into this fight. Mazin Nandi put him there. I am holding a hand, but where Mazin Nandi can, cannot silence this idiot and all these bastards. What is going on here? We need to ask questions. And does he have feelings? And does he have blood flowing in his system? He has a wife. He has family members. Is it because they are responsible people? Every day, this idiot that calls himself Yanis or whatever will come out on social media and be insulted a man who has never insulted you for one day. What is wrong with him? Is he crazy? He should go and take care of himself. Is he under the influence? He should go and make, check himself into a rehabilitation. I, Maria Heda, is speaking this. He has taken a no swipe on me. I kept quiet because as far as it's concerned, he's a non-entity. There was a reason I stopped calling into his program, and I made him to know that. He so he's useless. I don't entertain stupidity. And people will my, my myopic or small mind. I, I thought his wife knew better. I will be I zoom, his wife I will zoom into his platform. His name, his <laughs> platform is still um, a profit. Join you know? money. You can tell that I'm just trying to vent. I'm frustrated because frustration. It doesn't mean I'm tired because I'm holding myself. I understand. I, I understand the frustration. You know? But enough is enough. Enough of this bullshit. If he does, you know, I ask myself, including both him and Ekwadema, do they really have a job? Of course they don't. If their presence and footprints on in, on social media, do they really have a job? Ekwadema says that he's a lawyer. The argument becomes, what time does he even go to sit down and read the articles, the case. read news, or a prop, you know, even if he doesn't he practice anymore, even as an agent? What time does he have to consult with people that are coming to consult with him? <laughs> the other time he said that he won a Finland election. So when is he going? What, what is he doing with the election he won? Is he not is he not representing the people? And what time? Where is his office? People don't ask questions. He's also a military, but uh, he is all doing all this. He said he's a reserve, either he's a reservist or he's an active military person. What time does he do that? This guy is just a copycat. Look at the haircut. Immediately, a zucker may come out and have that haircut. Wow. Wow. Hair like that. You Childish, are very, very childish behavior. observant. That is why I don't even watch him. I don't watch him because his, his mind, his brain is so small. Even that of a frog is better because a frog knows when to walk away from a danger. This bastard doesn't even know. That's why I refuse to watch him. I only see his program like when people are you know playing it like this. It's so, so annoying. And this will have going on. He makes a claim. He's going to kill this person. He's going to do this. He's going to go to Nigeria. He's going to kill Biafra. He's giving orders. He's doing this. Now, from from being a Biafra, whatever, and a spokesperson, now he's government in exile. Autopilot. Fine. <laughs> Stay on your lane. But when you activate all this or speak all this nonsense that you spew out from your gutter mouth, and things began to happen in Biafra land, you want to run away from it. And who are these bastards that are listening and following him? Who are they? Are they humans? Because animals are better than them. Animals have some sense. I'm just completely disappointed. You see, that is why when people talk about respect a man, I say it and I say, it's not every person that has penis that you should respect as a man. Because you have a penis does not make you a man. Penis does not make anybody a man. Because there are people with penis... That should not some even of be us, some human of this man, some All of this man, yeah. are following this idiot yeah, from, from so-called, uh, 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 whatever you call it, master prophet or prophet or whatever. Take for man. These are men that, if I wish he was in olden days, they should have been incarcerated. Exactly. They have no reason, they should, they should not be counted as men in any ramification. Exactly. Because the quality of their mind speaks otherwise. Enough is enough. Who are these people listening to them? Who are they? Even if they're idiots, hey. who are they? I know how you feel. Marian Heda. We are not giving up. If you up. don't want Marian Nandika to come out, I believe that what DOS is doing is just to fulfill their obligation to make sure this man comes out. Of course. Okay? But when Marian comes out, 
with all the mass issue, restructure this thing and get everything going straight. His family members are complete disappointment. They have failed woefully. And it will go on the history. It will go in history. You go on record. They are not people to be reckoned with or to be respected from. For Heather. any reason, yeah, every respect according to them should be thrown out of the window. They are complete idiots. Marian Heather, That's my word. Let Thank me you let much. me remind yeah. you, this thing did not start now. Do you know there I is know. a saying that says that a DB no other Batana Nebu? No. They don't have regard for Mazen Nam the Kano. Those is family members. No, 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 no. They don't. They don't. Even you know, they make all these things they make like they make it closer that now. The way anyone, Monagi, other people are seeing this project, mm -hmm. including Mazen Nam the Kano, the family members don't see it that way. No, they don't. Because from their perspective, it's a scam. Nebu. No, from their perspective, because now when they are criminals, mm -hmm. from their perspective, they think that what Mazi is projecting or this project Mazi is selling is a criminal entity. Mm -hmm. That's the way they look at it. They look at it as it's a way for them to make money. And you know what it tells me? I don't care whether their father was, you know, uh, 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 um, a, 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 a whatever they call it, king or whatever. After all, OG Kanal, OG Sokan say he was the one that appointed him a king. That tells me who were, who were these people. Who were they? Before all Jews or Carlo appointed his father, their father, as the so called uh, which is the same thing, somebody like me have been dealing with. Marian Heda. You know one thing we will do? Um we will talk about this uh, later. Um let us uh, you know uh -uh. there is a there is something our consul told us when we are angry we shouldn't speak a lot. You know? Calm down. I know how you feel. It is frustrating because when we believe that things are going in order, somebody, one idiot will come up from nowhere, you know, to come and sabotage things. People that, are building, working, putting extra work, you know, to raise money to contribute to this to this project. Is it not? Is it not? Is it not the one working and bringing the money? Is we the people? Is exactly. we the people? If you remove we the people today. IPOB project is nothing. It's nothing. You know, I was discussing with uh -huh. somebody yesterday. They're asking me, how do, how are we funding our agitation? I said that we, the people, are funding it. We, the people. You know, that person and was instead stunned. Of you, can you, instead of you, somebody at least appreciating what you're doing. Okay, you call it in this project. You call it Mazin Nandis project. Oh, he's the supreme leader. He's the god of, of Biafra. Fine. But without the money people are contributing, without the human elements, people that have come together to support him, this project will not take a, 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 a move. It will not. And yeah, then the last my time sister, I said, none of his sister, family don't... members are contributing. Nah, eh? the what, you none know... of his family members are contributing. None of them are even full soldiers. Exactly. They are not doing anything that in their comfort zones insinuating no. No, what is what, kind of family what is makes it? me angry is that that woman called Nen Nayanya. You know, when you look at somebody that has their old age or matured, they have re lived in first world country. They don't reason, they don't have anything in their brain. <laughs> I don't think. Let me tell you, not everyone of us that I not just not every everyone of us that are out here that allow the system to go through them. You know, when I saw the so-called crazy picture that idiot posted about her, I said this one is a damn gagu. I mean, I, do you read the book called Solomon's Island? She represents what I call gagu. She said mm. damn gagu, giving everybody problem. Who exactly. is she? I've asked that question before. Who is she? Who is the damn she? These are all the people that came into it because they think they're closer to mass than they can. This problem, this project is not about being close. We don't want to bring nepotism into this. And none of these people are contributing. They are takers. You if they think we are fools, do they think we are stupid? I will contribute my money. I take my money and give it to you. Then I cannot ask you how you're using it. Who does that? Who does that? George Money, let me get out of here. Thank uh, you so much. Thank you for calling. We will speak of air. So, ane menka ana wachi ona apiaro, ane wachi ona apiaro. That is the biggest challenge we are having now. People want, you know, the plans of the enemy is to make us to give up, but we are resolute. There is nothing that will make us to give up because we have come this far. We are not quitting anytime soon. 
Let me take this call before we you listen to the final, you know, to you will now hear how he ended up the woman calling her. I am going to be zooming into that, you know, idiot called the uh, master prophet. I will zoom into him to find out what he is actually made of. He's an idiot. He does not know anything. But I will zoom into his page to see what he's up to. Um, the caller on the line, your name and where you are calling from, please. Mazi George Money, I greet you. Good evening, good afternoon from here. My name is Mazi Madu Biafra TV. I'm calling from Accra, Ghana. Please go ahead. Uh, actually, I I'm call I'm calling for just one simple reason. Your analysis today on Simon Ekba and everything that he's doing is perfect. It's on standard the way you have been doing before. But please, I want to drop a note of caution. You see, this agitation that we are into is very sensitive. And there is no room for miscalculation and or for 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 um, misinterpretation of what people are saying. There is no room for that, especially in IPOB. Miriam Hada that has called right now. I respect her so much as a mother, and then I respect her analysis most times. But please, let's not allow our annoyance make us spit out venoms that we cannot take back because not everything you say that is true not everything she says that is correct you have to make your findings don't come on air to talk about mazin Amikano's king these people that we are mentioning they are individual people i've always said this on our platforms people should attack who they want to attack directly yes. don't be mentioning the names of mazin Amikano's parents that are already dead yes. if you think they have not contributed anything in this struggle they are already dead for crying out loud as far as, as I can tell, Mazin the Kanu mother and father supported him 100% and they never asked for any Biafran agitator true. to That's give true. them money to eat. That's so true. nobody should come on social media for any reason at all to come and tell us whether Mazin the Kanu's mother was installed by Uzo or Uzo Kalu or not. How, was, how is Nigerian kingship being made? Is it not the same way? Does it mean that they are corrupt? Let's be, let's be guided in our utterances. This is social media. This is social media. Anything you say here goes viral. Anything anybody comes on this platform to say, you have the right to correct that person. What she's saying is correct, but this particular one she's saying is wrong. We will not take it from anybody at all. It is no wrong. matter your reputation, who you are. Yes, things are going wrong. Let's not come and add more issues to it. Yes. Please. This family, they are doing their thing. Whatever that they are doing, these individuals you are mentioning does not stand for the family. They do not represent the family. They Mas represent Mas themselves. He's even covering, Mazin Amikano alone is covering, his, the moon that covers him covers the whole family. Yes. If not for the stupidity of uh, other people that are members of the family. Do you mean judge money that your younger brother behaves like you? No. Does your auntie behave like you? At all. It is not, that does not mean that the family can be ruled out. Let's be guarded and be respected. Respected. Let's respect others the way they respect us. Exactly. This thing that uh, this the voice of this woman has really gotten me upset. I don't like it. She has to call back and apologize. Please, I'll drop my case. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. And uh, you make a good point there. You made a good point there. <sighs> hey. No matter, the, you know, the, the truth of the, or the fact is, no matter what whoever does, we, the Biafran people, we are ready to exit. We are ready to exit Nigeria. Okay, I think the Marian Heda is calling. Let's hear from her also. Uh, Maria Heda. Yeah, this is me. Yeah, it's Ma yeah, it's Maria Heda. I had uh, Mazi Madu. I don't have any apology for anybody. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you. Listen, I did not disrespect the parent. I never disrespect. What I'm talking about is this: if the re the, the living relative of Mazi, that my problem, I never insulted his parents. When I said I say with all due respect, I never insulted them. But if they think, it's them that I'm referring to. Because I've heard the story that the parents were solidly behind him. Even if they were not, they have never disowned or this, you know, not been part of what he has been doing. That's the research I know. But 
Why is it that his siblings are trying to trash everything Mazi has set up? This is their brother. Uh, Madam Hada, Madam Hada, you know one thing, ne? Um, it is very, very important when we are angry. You know, we we watch our anger to calm down first before we react. Um, you said what you said. Remember that we are on the public domain. There are people who are following autopilot today because they lack understanding. They cannot read in between the lines. So, for the sense, because of those type of bigots, you know what you said here is very very sensitive so please if you can please at least for the sake of Mazen Namdekano the one that we saw and we joined please I want you to remove that path of the, ma the, the parents please whoever that we know that is sabotaging us today it is the master prophet the Fulani pastor and that the canon Takan. Okay, I'm not. I'm not going to dwell on this a long time. Let me. Let me. Let me put it this way: If uh, what I said I'm misunderstood by anybody that I was being either derogatory or disrespectful to the hi highest, um, his highest. Um, I'm just ups when I'm upset that my brain begins to work. There. Ah, let me take a deep breath. That's how mad I am with this thing. This man did this. I month. know. His high, uh, uh, highness, you know, is a um, is uh, Israel, right? Uh, okay. Yes. Yeah. I'm really sorry. You know, I, I was really hot. I was really angry because I saw what this man did. He has even he has taken several swipes at me. I ignored it. But I challenging him to come out and call my name. It doesn't have to be sending proxies or talking to me in the thought of thing. Um, that's why I ignored him because um, oh, uh, it, you know, I found somebody like me, I don't answer to everybody. When I don't answer to somebody, that means what the person is saying is, doesn't make sense to me. But for him to continue to be insulting a dozium is wrong. I don't know it. I might say a dozium, I don't know him. But for me, my personality, injustice to one is injustice to all. That's my personality. I stand for fairness, equity. It doesn't matter who you are. I don't have to know you. You know, if we are talking about this project that we want to bring in stability, we want to do something different from the place we call Nigeria, we have to stand on the truth. Sometimes it may be painful, it may hurt, but that's the only way we can achieve what we are looking for. Because the way you have an operation to go to, you have a thick knife and you're going to a doctor to operate on you, he's going to use a knife. When he's, he's go, doing those incisions, it's painful. But he's not doing the incisions, he's not cutting you with a knife because he wants to kill you or hurt you. No, he's trying to remove that which has been, which is really wants to kill you. So the knife does two things. It will cut off, create pain, but in the process it will heal you. I'm not trying to digress. I'm going to go back and say it again. I had no intention, I have no intention to insult my, His Royal Highness, yeah, you know, my, my, I can down in the Lord, I can speak. His Royal Highness, uh, is a, uh, Israel. late is a, uh, Israel and the wife. I have, I don't, I never met them, I don't know them. But what I was saying, maybe because I was speaking, I know, I just ran it that way, was that his children that trying to revoke their names, princess and princesses, these were the people I was targeting to, okay? This project has nothing to do with them being prince or princesses. Mazi himself, that's the reason why people come out from all nooks and crannies following Mazi. Mazi is really the true king. In fact, Mazi is supposed to be um, a crown prince, okay? But he has not behaved this way. I studied my pro. When you study, if you go back, you can listen to me. I said... Nandu was in a full name when he came, but Ofu Ofu I made that out there, trying to establish that Mazi is totally different from his siblings, and that's what is breaking my heart. I don't understand this. This is their own brother. Why is it that people like us coming in because we believe in the in in the uh, psychology of this man? People have been yearning. Biafra, true Biafra, have been yearning, yearning for somebody to lead us. To galvanize us, and this young man, God brought him to galvanize us. That's my respect. 
and I will never disrespect the womb that gave birth to this individual. But how come that the brothers and sisters cannot say this? Why do they take us for a ride? Why is this man that calls himself prophet or whatever comes out and be trashing everybody, even in trashing Martin Nandi himself, and none of the siblings can hold him accountable or stop him? He's giving somebody like me a hard bond. What is the problem? Why is it that the family cannot control? Does it mean the family are supporting what he's doing? And that if that is the case, that's my problem. That is what I was alluding to. That's what I was trying to call out. So if anybody misunderstood me, I am totally sorry. I didn't mean to take any one of you emotionally there. That's not what I meant. I was just calling these idiots out because they do not represent anything that looks like my Zinland or the parents. Thank you very much, Marian Heda. Thank you for you know recognizing that uh, mistakes. Uh, no, I mean, I'm that person that if, if I don't like to hurt people, that is why even when I speak, I'm careful the way I choose my words. I don't intentionally hurt people. It's not my way. It's not my life. You know, so that is why asking me to apologize, I don't have any qualms because I have no intention of insulting the parents of Mazin and the Kano. I hold them to high esteem, just the same way I hold Mazin. At the fullness of time, everybody will come and say, I personally will come and speak what I have done as far as his release is concerned. God knows I have invested my life. So I cannot just come and trash it, but it's something I'm doing on my own. So but let's leave it there. So. I apologize to anybody that when the statement I made, I was misunderstood or felt that I insulted Mazi or his family but, and his parents, I meant to say. But as his siblings, I have no regrets and I will never apologize for anything I said against them because they deserve worse than that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <clears throat> so, um, we are having another call. Another call. Is it the same person calling? Uh, the caller, go ahead. Hold on. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for bringing me back in. This is Madi, Mazi, Madu Biafati. I call just right now. Yes. I actually want to also um, thank our sister, our mother. She does not know the level she holds in IPOB. That is why I came up to, to you know, they say when when a father or when a king is misbehaving and nobody's talking, a little child will wear a crown yes. or a basket on the head to be able to talk to her. That is what I just did now. Who is that? I know this woman is amongst those people who love this project of restoration of Biafra so much. There is nowhere she is that I don't listen to her program. When she goes on Radio Biafra, I'm there. When she talks on spirituality, I'm there. Why? Because there is sense always coming out from her. Now, she has, you know, you know, it's not easy all, all the time. It's not all the time that one will get it perfect. That is why when she, when anybody makes a mistake, you try to bring it out so that the person can look back yes. and ask myself, did I just say this and correct it? Madam, I'm so happy that you, uh, you know, you apologize to Biafras and uh, God bless you for doing that. God will continue to protect you and your children wherever you are. Um, everybody in this struggle, listening to Ma, listening to Mazi, um, Judge Money, please. This struggle is not for Mazi Namikano's family. This struggle is not for me. It's not for Judge Money. It's not for uh, our sister that just called our mother. This struggle is for the entire Biafran. When you talk of entire Biafran, forget about those shouting autopilots. They are all Biafrans, but they are just being stupid. It's all for them. Now, when we want to make utterances, we want to do something, please. If you cannot talk slowly so that you can, you know, you can hold your breath. Don't talk too fast when you are angry. It spoils a lot. I, I'm a victim of that. And then there is, I'm a, I'm a quick-tempered person, so I don't, quick, I don't easily talk. So, now, on this issue of master prophets or prophets and, uh, uh, what's his name, on this, uh, 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 what's this boy's name again? Emmanuel Kanu Kanu and the Kanu Takanu. All of all of us know very well that we can deal with them. We know that we can handle them. If Ekerema, Madam Oyibo, Madam Bridget, uh, 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 Bridget Okafo, Madam uh, uh, what's her name? Nen Neanya, and uh, which other person? This other one, uh, Nelly. I don't want to mention her name because that one is already destroyed. 
if all these people put together, handling IPOB fund could not pull IPOB down. Is it some hungry people somewhere that are just talking with their mouth because they are hungry? It's not. They can't do anything to this struggle. I They're like only that. going to blab. I like that. So long, so long as we are in this struggle and we are all attending our meetings and we all know what is going on in our various meetings. Forget about the social media scandals. Everything that we are doing is supposed to be on point. Okay? So let's not be distracted. Forget about those nonsense media. This, see, let me tell you people. The only people that are still holding this struggle are those that are attending meetings. Forget about the media because the thing that is going on in the media right now, sometimes even our media warriors who don't attend meetings, they make mistakes and then they ask questions later. If you attend meeting and listen to Radio Biafra, I assure you that you would never be confused. When they confuse you this way, you go back and listen. You will get correction. You will get guided. Yes. All these people shouting, trying to distract you, that is why they are there. This struggle cannot be successful if people don't distract us. This struggle cannot be successful if people don't die. This struggle cannot be successful. If you and I, Judge Money, does not stand on the battlefield and fight ourselves one day and then realize that we are making mistakes. Mm. But only, only the strong stands at last. Mm. Only the strong, only the brave remains. Yesterday I saw what happened. Look at many media warriors making mistakes. I was just laughing in my back door. I was like, come on, look at these people. They have forgotten the track. They have forgotten that there's something called Takia. There's a lot of things Mazina Mikano has taught us in this struggle that many people are forgetting. That is why most times I like to listen to uh, Mazi um, Mutusela's platform because he, when he keeps reminding of, of messages of Mazi Nam, can some of us, our brain reset. Please, my people, don't be misguided. Maz, uh, our sister that called, everything she said was out of annoyance. And she didn't say anything that, that, that shows that she does not love the struggle or she does not love the Mazi Nam, parents. No. She's trying to trying to destroy the energy that the evil ones in that family are trying to use to spoil the name of the family. Because in every family, there must be Judas. Yes. Have you people forgotten in your Christian Bible that the whole family, the whole brothers of, uh, of uh, uh, Joseph put him in a pit and sold him? The whole brothers. How come? It happens. It happens. It's not a new thing. Let's not, let's live in the life of the olden days. Let's not be believing in everything happening now. What is happening now is normal. I, if I, if somebody comes tomorrow and tell me that Kamun Takano is among the people that sold my, my brother, I will never doubt it. Why? Because a brother can kill a brother. It happens in this our world. A brother can kill his father because of something property. A lot of things are happening. So let's not generalize. That does not mean that a family is caused or a family has a problem. If that family is destroyed, if that family is caused today, Mazin Namikanu glory has forgiven all of them. If so that's how I see it. That's the same thing with the same Jesus Christ you people are calling today. Jesus Christ today has covered the immunity that Mary bears. Mary, Mary will give birth to her him according to the story. Jesus Christ covers him, covers her, covers Joseph. So there's a lot. Let's not generalize everything that we are doing. Let's keep our eyes on the ball and keep focused. Whatever that is distracting us, let it go. If you have energy to fight that person, fight that person up to that. If you catch, if you can even catch that person and destroy that person, catch the person and destroy. It. Thank you this very much. Thank you very Marzi, much. Thank you so much. Let me drop it here for now. Drop All right. It. Thank you very much. It is a wonderful speech, and uh, I appreciate it very much. It is a, <coughs> it is a very good speech, and. Uh, Mm, I think uh, we are going to be bringing the program to an end, but let's finish this this video. Let's finish with this video, and we will bring this program to an end. They are good listeners. Okay. Sit down, sit no, not, not when you lie. Not when you lie against me. No, not when you lie against me. Our time is I am not a good listener when you lie against me. Okay. I want you to take that note. You have to excuse me when I finish talking. When I, I said I came to, I want to lay down <laughs> some background, you know, situation before I will start. And then that's why I'm bringing this question. And that's why I'm bringing this. But you don't want, you want me to go, you want to force your opinion or maybe the meaning you read from my voice. 
It is not meaning. This is what you see when the woman is trying to talk things outside the questions, he give the woman time. But whenever the woman try to ask that, ask that critical question that will expose this Eberima, he will now block the woman from talking. It is just the psychology that you need to pick up to know that this guy is not genuine, not today, not tomorrow, not ever. And he can never be genuine. He doesn't have a job. He is not doing anything in Finland because we have exposed him for taking people's money in the name that he is immigration agent in Finland. Ever since you came into his life as a fool, that's when he started. his life started changing. Can't you get that? Ever since Mazen Namdekano granted him interview, don't you see the difference between him now and him when he was supporting the UK for a mother? Don't you see the difference? When he look like a keleke, today now at least he is now having vitamin C in his body. Because of your money that you are giving him. He even bought himself a new car. Because of the money you are giving him. You have no idea. Ever since he interviewed Mazen Namdekano, his life changed because so many people entrusted him with visa application. He swindled the money. He did not even do any of them. That's why you saw some of them who had access to the media. They came to report their case. And at the end of all these things, Let's listen to what he say. His submission here. You are getting it wrong, please. Wait, wait, if you cannot, wait, wait, if you cannot wait, talk, I'm gonna cut you off. Uh, people, will, people have actually judged from how you, you acted here. Okay. You don't want me to talk. You want me to, you want me to talk. To people you have actually, to... people have actually uh, judged with the way you acted and the way you are acting here. First of all, what? You, I am addressing, what? I am addressing okay, your voice. Talk. I am addressing your calling. You call to a program. I am addressing it. You come here now and I start talking about Avid and Avid. You lie against me here, right here. Watch the facial expression. Watch, pay attention to the body movement, the body language, the facial expression. Pay very good attention to it. Did you give Did you give the background while you were calling to that program? Did you give background? What? Did you give background while you were calling to that program? So, look at what you're saying. So, but I, I'm in your place now. No, but you I want you to address what this, you said. I want you to address. Program. Can you address what you I said? You're giving me your platform to talk. I'm giving that you my program, platform to I, address. I even when I was Please. Talking, I am like giving you my. Like, and I, you know, a lot of people know you. Get, listen to me. Yeah, a lot of people said. know you, okay? And you know what you're acting now? It's not replace. It's not reflecting who you believe, who people believe you are. Are you aware of that? Look at you said something in the platform. You said see, something you in the platform. Can you address what you said here? See, Marzi Simon, Eva. Hey, Are you letting <laughs> me to talk? Can you address you what you said? I have just played are your you audio. Me, are you letting me? Are you allowing me? Can you let up with me? Let me talk. You cannot even withdraw the lies. You lie now. I just ask you openly, withdraw your you life. Know, if you, you are sincere, are if you are sincere, you, you would say, okay, I withdraw it back. The one where I am. So don't the one that, the one that, the one that you are, the one that you lie that nobody know about, you're like going to withdraw it. I've given you, I've given you enough time. I hope you saw what I am telling you to see. You are hearing it, you are observing it because you are now the ladies and gentlemen. The accurate time um, or the getting work timekeepers, you know, the judges, panel of impartial judges. I hope you are judging and you are seeing what is playing here. And that is exactly what you see is what you get. When you continue to, you know, to, to.
to give your support to this non-entity that is killing you, killing your family members, killing your people back home. It is what you are supposed to, you are going to get. When Nelly, when Nelly tried to expose him, he shared the nude. And he tell you that Nsima is in, in, a, in is hold by Juju Nelly. So that the two of them, they would be dead on arrival, not to expose him. He succeeded. When uh, these two women that he is talking about, um, this Omoa Kata that separated, the 30 million separated them, or 25 million. When the both of them, you know, because they don't belong the light to the light, even though when they saw the light, they could not stand the light. They stand in between the light and the lies. At the end of the day, he separated with from them because they exposed him. Now again, this one saw the light. He is trying to deny, you know, knowing her or even her supporting autopilot. Because you know, if I name but the question is, when I am I hope you are watching. A slave that sees where other slave is being buried with a digger, and you are laughing. I am referring to those of you that is on the ground saying that you are proud autopilot. Call on this program one day and ask him where does it come from. This is the same faith you are going to get. Call on this program and ask this guy exactly a critical question that might expose his lies and deceit towards this movement. This is what you are going to get. Call on him and ask him how did he activate government in exile? Which was Rike was the one who declared it. This is the same faith you are going to meet. Call on him and ask him, why is it that anybody who stand up to ask you a critical question, they become enemy? This is what you are going to get. I'm, I've given you enough time. 11 minutes. You have been here arguing with me. 11 minutes. Ordinary to withdraw. Did you see now the time now? After killing all the time, he will now tell his stupid and gullible, indespicable excuse of human beings, followers, that the time is up. 11 minutes. 11 minutes of what? Of asking you the question or 11 minutes of you blocking the question she's supposed to ask you that will implicate you. We are whiter than white. We are whiter than snow. If you say you cannot respect the leadership of this struggle, Mazen Namdekano or the structure he put in place that represents the leadership or him, you know, in his absence, you are, I, you know, Biafran demon. I must be treated like Biafran demon. Just like he is. A Biafran demon. A double agent. A Fulani boy. Who does not, you know, whom you do not know where he come from. Just because he is calling Okonji, Okonjo, Okojo or whatever. You will believe, ah, he speak Igbo. He's Igbo. You don't know that all these people killing people in our land, they are Igbo speaking Fulani. You don't have idea. You have no idea. Let's see how they end before we just call it a day because we have Ordinary to withdraw a lie. If you want Ordinary to withdraw. No, no, no. Ordinary to withdraw a lie. You could not withdraw your lie. You said I have dealing with advert, and I told you I have no dealing with advert. And then you say, okay, it's a mistake. But I ask you, withdraw that mistake. You don't want to withdraw it. 
So how can I leave you here to be wasting my time for over 12 minutes? Over 12 minutes, you are here talking. <laughs> I ask you, you are here to address what you said. You said you want to go background. Which background? All these things you are saying, there is no avid in it. There is no avid in it. So what concerns have now you claim he she came to ask her about advert but you are forcing her or she made a claim that she he, you are working with advert and advert now you are forcing her not to make that claim or to you know continue in that claim but rather she should ask you about government in exile that was the claim here so who is fooling who here you implicate yourself you will try to back up you implicate yourself again you will try to nurture you know butter it up are you people not understanding if you cannot read the handwriting on the wall here i tell you again you are fathered by fulani let us continue in the uh, government in exile they are part of it they are part of the avid is part of it <laughs> but when we are having uh, the, when we are activating the government in exile, what concern what you said on somebody's program and what you are giving? What background are you giving? <laughs> I'm not interested in that. I'm going to give you another two minutes. Okay. If you are not going to withdraw the lies you told from the, from the beginning. Of now program, another last two la, another last two minutes is to withdraw that because he already insisted that it is a lie, but the woman never agreed that she lied. But now he will insist that the woman agreed that she lied. Pay attention. I will allow you to roll. I don't need to tell you everything. When he let you go, a gun. Use your tongue to count your teeth. I will cut you off, and the Biafra people are going to judge from what you have displayed here. Wow. Go ahead and the, uh, the address the brain with all the lies. You see, the people that are sitting there with you, I am putting a challenge to you, Mr. Simon. You are putting if a challenge to me. You are not going on defense. Allow me to talk. So, then are you not going to withdraw the lies? Are you not going to withdraw the lies? Which lie? I didn't you, lie. You said that allow you her to talk, talk now. You said that I have dealings. The one that is lying, and your is a cover up. All right. You, she can go and have her mask. You see. You see. Uh, when you when you have uh, somebody like this who can openly lie that I have dealings with Abvet. And I told her, I have no dealings with Abvet. And then she said it was a mistake. I said, take it back. Now, see, you are claiming that you don't have dealing with Abvet, but you say you activated government in exile, that this Abvet and Advert is the same, they are part of it. Now you are saying you do not have dealings with these same people. Are you normal? Dude, are you normal? Is something wrong with you? You claim you have no dealings with them, but you claim they are part of the government in exile that you say you have activated. Now the woman said to you, he's throwing a challenge to you. Allow her to talk. Lapia Kobu Wako Ibon Suben are your platform. And that is the reason why you don't want to allow her to talk because you know that. People that are following you will be will see the light immediately if she talks. That is the reason why you cannot allow her to talk. Even a blind man could do, you know, see. You know, a blind man will see your actions here. That you are illegal. That you are not genuine. A blind man could see it. And people are still fooling themselves. Those are spiritless human beings. People with no soul. Dead people walking. Zombies. Those are the people we are talking about. That cannot understand your activities. Yes. And then she cannot take it back. So why should I come here? And she come here and start telling stories. Ghost threats. Go straight to what you said in the program. She said no. She wants to go background. Which background? Welcome to the program. What is that daily, daily? Good morning from here. Yeah, welcome. <laughs> your line, your line is very low. Okay. Uh, let me try. 
Chan, the increase the volume. Yeah, I've been listening to that uh, the matter of that very woman. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's very, very sad to see. It's very sad. Our Don't see how women. You know what is Yandeli Lili? What is Yandeli Lili? They are the ones who are calling in. Or the ones arranged for aftermath. Now, let me skip this fool because he's a fool. Let's continue. I have, I'm here to address the lies she told about the government in exile. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My problem with these people, this kind of women, I used to ask, have they no husband? Even his followers, he, he was asking him, bring back that woman <laughs> and allow him to talk. Allow her to talk. The people who have brain small are telling him, bring back that woman, allow him to talk. Even if he's not making sense, let's allow him to talk. Who can really caution them when they are... No, you know, some of them, don't, you know, I don't need to go into that. You know, I, she's calling again. I'm not going to pick the call. She must, uh, she must let her lesson and we're going to address her fuck up here today. I'm not going to pick her call. So those who knows her should uh, ask her to deal with it that way. You're not gonna pick a call, but you've been calling on her. Call in, call in, <laughs> call in. Enough, enough for one the Bugana. Call in that you are equal to the task. You need to on call in. She called in. You used delay strategy and wasted her time, drained her energy. Even while you are doing that, you are also draining my own energy. Because it's, it is quite irritating. It is quite irritating. You know, that's exactly what you did here. It is not even, it is not even funny. It is not funny. I have wasted my 12 minutes telling her to withdraw the statement that I'm working with Avid, which is a lie. She could not withdraw it. So she can go ahead and start calling all the program. This is the last day and the last time I will be distracted by people like her. Thank you oh. very much for calling. Yeah. You have learned your lesson that once autopilot today see the light, you will no longer bring them. This is telling you in advance, you autopiloted fools. Whenever you see the light, you are not coming to ask question. That is telling you in advance for you to know. For you to know. That is telling you in advance. <laughs> oh, oh, Chai. Don't forget, if you want to be able to get your own demo, what you are doing with these people who don't have brain, what you are doing with this brainless human being, brainless uh, creatures that call themselves Biafra, if you want to be able to get your demo, a better game, a better mequenon again, a better these people name where Uche no. These people that doesn't have mentality, Uche, that call themselves a proud autopilot. Simon, have mercy on them. Chai! Now, let me see how you continue selling the person just lied. So, what is the big deal? Withdraw that lie. That's all. I would have allowed her to even yeah. waste 30 minutes here. I've done it before. So, but when you, when you, when she cannot withdraw that line, then what is she doing here? If she cannot withdraw the line, she just told Which me right line? Now, Which line? Which line? That I have dealing Please, with. people that are watching, it is true. I cannot see your comment section because I am in full studio. Which line is this guy talking about? Which line? Is there any line that the woman, did the woman even speak? Given opportunity to even speak or utter anything or finish a sentence with regards to her question, and he is now telling him somebody to withdraw that line. Which line is there any line to be withdrawn? If there is any line to be withdrawn, please write it in the comment section. You know, to be sincere, whether you are um, original or fake, write it in the comment section. If there is any line to be withdrawn. Did the woman author any word? Of course, the answer is no. The woman did not author any word in terms of the question. 
you continue to make the woman digress educating you first trying to you know make you to listen give him give her a listening ear you make her digress she start educating you first you you know with avid and i said i don't have any dealing with avid and then she said okay that's a mistake i did not say that but she said deal it so why can't she withdraw did the woman say that's a mistake lies lies the woman was finding a way for you to shut up so that she will be able to tell you god talk me for hi god talk me for we see you before you see yourself let us let us uh, let me push it to the end and see what they did there that's all i say you see they will always come in the pretense or oh, uh, we search for yes, what these are are the um, why he can make it take things. off. We are not adapt. They will. Um, I will am tell you lah. It will be a long time. I want you on this platform. That's what I call it. I'm really not doing this. The reason why, you know, facial expression, you know, exactly. facial expression, yes. that's why I was, I just brought it to you. Listen to me. Can I get myself? <laughs> that is what is going on all over the world. I am bringing this program to an end of course we did it again we have this number because not because we are in my platform because because facebook vowed that anything that is connected to my platform they will continue to bring it down the numbers of people who will come to view it so we extended it that is the reason why we have this number today because we don't be surprised if we have 10 tomorrow because of you know if we come back to only that page and the royal ones connected to it so you will be you shouldn't be surprised and we are resolute whether they give us five of course you know we are resolute we will continue to preach the gospel facebook cannot stop us neither youtube none of them will stop us from preaching this gospel for freedom of mankind across the nation of Africa. We must continue. We will remain resolute, formidably strong, because it is through resilient that we are going to achieve what we are fighting to achieve. Regardless of what the enemy within, the enemy far, the enemy without, regardless of their plans regardless of their activities to bring our spirit down to make us to scream like a mad person to make us to even confess what we do not need, mean to confess just because they are irritating us they are making us frustrated we can never be frustrated and we can never we are their friends and we are going to continue regardless of anybody whatever anybody think about it your their opinion as long as you are not truthful to the cause of freedom whatever you may think whatever you are doing we will continue to expose you master prophet i will check you out i will check you out Number one is that what you are doing is illegal by extorting money from people in the name of Igbo. That is what you are doing. Extorting money from people in the name of Igbo. Now I act that in your power. In your power, master prophet. Hmm. Hi, master prophet. Power on the Facebook. In where power about a private jet in those to give those she now. In where power we put about your in law. You didn't bring your in law from DSS. You blow wonderful and easy. 
you know you could go on about what the guinea is young people the following i will zoom in to you and your activities very soon i let the bunk you because you know you know all mad one go they're gonna attack you you will cease to bring shame to the family of uh, Kano. You and Kano Takano and the one they call um, uh, Madam Finance. You will cease to bring shame to the family of Kano that have been fighting for the, in the past 12 months. And I will continue to fight for it because they gave us a savior. But those individuals Now, we are going to open your chapter. We are going to open your chapter. Great beer friends all over the world, remain formidable. Don't let anything anybody do to make you derail or to give up. Because if you know they want you to give up. The plans of the enemy is for you to give up. So that they will laugh at you. They will say they are the freedom fighter. That is the plans of the enemy. But we cannot. That is the reason why we have many of us that will tell you, you know, don't let go, hold on, do not let go, hold on, don't let go. Biafra is a step away. You know, I love playing that music, but I found out it has a copyright. That's why I stopped playing all those things. I don't play any other thing. Because people will collect those things. Bloggers will take those music, those Mazen Nam the Kano words, or even they will make it a copyright. You know, you'll be wondering what is the meaning of that. When you play it, Facebook will, will use it now against you. But there is no problem. We are going to pass through all this. And at the end of this journey we have impact upon biafra will be restored africa will be liberated the land of chukwo kikabiam and the god of israel will be restored upon the face of the earth the cry of jerusalem will go down because the people are coming back home that is how it is shalom great people of Biafra. Shalom, great people of Africa. Peace be unto those who need peace. And don't forget,